Hey, folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome, welcome back, well, to not our regularly scheduled live stream. It is Friday, and we are continuing our run of Baldur's Gate 3 that we started yesterday. I'm so excited to be continuing this. I did play a little after the stream yesterday on a separate brand new save, but I didn't get any further. I wasn't allowing myself to get any further past this point, um, because as a reminder, even though I had, of course, the early access for ages, and even though I had a press copy as of Tuesday, I was trying to avoid as many spoilers, news items, anything I could to try to keep this experience as fresh as possible. Today, we are going to be going into the Druid Grove, the little Druid town, which I have technically dabbled in um, way early on in the early access, but not too much. I'm very excited to go and see what we can do there, especially as a Druid, since uh, there may be some people in here who need to be straightened up a little bit. Uh, somewhere in here. So I'm very hyped to be going in. Uh, in terms of what we have done so far, so I mean, obviously we finished the Nautiloid. Uh, we also did go and clear out these ruins over here. We cleared out this whole dungeon, the ruins over there. We've met, um, what's his name? Sh Shivers? The, the undead guy, who I think will show up at the camp and might be responsible for the respecking mechanic later on, which is interesting. We might poke around with that. We'll see. Withers! There it is, not Shivers. Withers! Um, so yeah, I'm excited to meet him again, uh, because that is, uh, again, I've, I've, I did clear this dungeon before in super early access, so it had been, well, I mean, a couple of years or whatever since I did that, so, um, it was nice, and yeah, the, the Druid Grove over here, I think it's gonna be really interesting to experience this as a Druid in terms of what story we can do, and other than that, I've gotten as far as, like, there's a town that's been overrun by goblins somewhere. I've poked at that a couple of times in, in previous things and early access and whatever. Um, but I think I think that pretty much covers everything I've ever done in this game. So, yeah, like I said, I've intentionally tried to avoid it. Boy, it's been hard. Boy, it's been hard. But I think there's a lot of value in trying to have something relatively um, uh, blind. We do have a shovel. That is true. How exciting is it? We do have a shovel, so we should probably return over here now. Um, I think rather than going to overground ruins, I think the quickest way, we're going to go to roadside cliffs. You're right. Let's quickly dig up, dug up, dig up a couple of things, and then we'll go into uh, the town. Oh, yeah, that's right. I hate, and Divinity Original Sin was the same way. I hate that I can't click or something over here to move the in-game camera. Now, I suppose part of it is because there is a limit to how far you can move the camera from your characters. Here's the limit here. It's being moved as my characters move. So that might be part of it, but... Or, you know, right click on the map to get people the path there or something. But that's just me being lazy and putting in some requests. We got a dig spot there, and I think we had one over here somewhere. So yeah, we're going to diggy diggy hole. And yes, I am definitely on team. Druid Badger form should let you dig holes. Now, I've done uh, one of the things I did last night, right? After our stream. Oh! Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Ooh, fresh fish. care for fish. Red means. No. That's a different matter. Rare as can be. I, I just want to go on record. I did not start the food talk today. You won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. <laughs> um, ba -da 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 -ba -ba -ba. Uh, oh, someone was asking, do you need... How come I can't click on it to see the conversation here? Uh, I think someone is asking if you need to play Baldur's Gate 1 or 2 to play this first. How come it, you, can't, you can't scroll back to like the start of a conversation? Oh, there you go. Do you need to play the first two and understand what's going on in this game? So the answer is definitely no. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is set, I believe, a hundred years after the events of Baldur's Gate 2. So Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 and the expansions are generally known as the Balespawn Saga, um, and they are a very connected game. Like, I would I would say play Baldur's Gate 1 before Baldur's Gate 2 uh, because it's a really tight and self-contained story. This is not the case. It is in the same sort of area of the world, but you no more need to have played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 before 3 than you would need to have read, you know, like Forgotten Realms novels and things like that. You will benefit because there's going to be, uh, apparently there are references in here to things that happened in the original games um, and maybe some callback characters here and there as well, but um, it's definitely not required. However, I will say this, while Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, they're old games, right? They're more than 20 years old. They freaking hold up. They really, really do. The Enhanced Edition, which came out, I don't know, maybe like a decade ago at this point almost, um, made things really work well on modern computers. Uh, but they're solid games. Great writing, uh, good mechanics, just really fantastic. Although they're both based on second edition D&D rules, which can be a little bit, let's say, archaic. <laughs> uh, 
Mm-hmm. Minsk and Boo? I've never heard of those people. I mean, you can go and watch my Baldur's Gate 1 um, and Baldur's Gate 2 Let's Play. The Baldur's Gate 2 Let's Play is still, is still happening now, but... No, I don't remember meeting any Minsk in those Let's Plays at all. Minsk and Boo, of course, are, uh, are absolute favorites of the Baldur's Gate saga um, and uh, make an appearance in almost everyone's party, so in my evil playthrough, literally ignore them and never talk to them at all. Which really hurts some people. <laughs> uh, oh, Dell is currently encumbered. Um, although I don't know how much that matters for out of combat stuff. Now, one of the things I did when playing last night on my own is I was able to spend a little bit more time mucking about with UI stuff and figuring some things out and, you know, just reading more tool tips and stuff. Um, one of the things I wanted to do is like take a pass at organizing my toolbars. And if you haven't watched my little quick tip video on the toolbar, let me show you a few things that can make your life oh, so much sweeter. First of all, there's a little lock here. It defaults to locked, so you can't normally like drag and move things around, but you can unlock and then you can move things with your toolbar, which is absolutely great. There are different ca toolbar categories here, but the only thing to do with them is this is just where things get automatically placed um, when you say memorize a new spell, right? Like we're outside of combat here. What I could do for, uh, for Delures over here is I could drop say Charm Person, it removes it from there. And if I put it back in, it will automatically add it back in to this block because this is the block called Druid over here. But there's nothing special about that. Like I have this topple action, which is related to me wielding a staff. You know, I can put it over here. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. The thing is when I equip a new weapon, the weapon specific mode abilities will show up over there. Um, but you actually don't even need those weapon abilities to be on your hotbar if you don't want. I actually find it quite convenient to strip this off. And instead, when I want to do with my melee or range attack, if I just click on this, it'll contextually pop up all the special modes for this weapon. The topple, which is once per short rest. It also very conveniently includes my shillelagh cantrip to buff my weapon. That, oh, the quality of life in this game is amazing. Also my poison bottles over here, if I wanna go and add poison to my weapon, very conveniently listed in that area. Um, but the other thing that was great, cause I had a friend, uh, Demonac, maybe in the chat, I don't know, um, who was wondering about setting hotkeys because they're in their personal game, they're playing a warlock, um, and well, actually, I don't know if it's in their personal game or the multiplayer game we're doing, or maybe both. Um, and of course, as a warlock, you tend to cast Eldritch Blast a lot, and you want to be able to hotkey it. Well, that's what this custom panel is for over here. This custom panel, first of all, you could leave it up all the time if you wanted, but the big thing with it is abilities in the custom panel. You can access your spellbook very quickly. Well, spellbook is also your skill book, right? Everything that you can do is in this so called spellbook. You can access it with K, or if you just click on your inventory go to the spell book but anything you put on here like let's say um you know what i want to i want to have very conveniently um you know what actually i want long strider to be very convenient to cast so i can just put it down here and you'll see it gets assigned a number right in my wild shape there you go i'll put it here so now these are hot keyed and the nice thing is you don't need the custom bar to be visible even if you're in the normal mode here if i go and hit two i'm now starting to cast long strider and the nice thing about um some of these spells is that uh, the, the other thing that, that turns out is they can be cast as a ritual. If you go ahead and pop this open, I lock this in. Long Strider is a ritual spell. So this is the other thing I made a quick little tip video. Ritual spells don't cost a spell slot to cast when outside of combat. So I can hit Long Strider here. Now, I don't know what happens if I pick a two, but well, that just does two creatures at a time. I'm actually curious if it uses the spell slot or not. Let me do this for a second. We still target someone with it? Oh yeah, so I can click me and I can click Shadowheart. There you go. So they have Long Strider. And yeah, we still have both for level two spell slots. Perfect. So it, it, it turns out for Long Strider, it's Long Strider doesn't matter because it's just how many creatures you're affecting per cast. I could use level one slots as well. That's fine. I'll cast it on Gale. And then I don't know why Asterion just decided to move over there. That's interesting. But I can cast it on him. So this is a ritual spell, doesn't use any of my spell slots. Now all of my characters, until we long rest, move an extra three meters per round. Huge! I want to have all of my characters long stridered all the time. Now, if if I go and remove it from my, my prepared spells here, if I close this out, it will remove the buff. So you can't buff everyone and then swap it out for another spell. So the cost here is that it's occupying one of my prepared slots for the day. But the convenience factor is huge, massive, wonderful. Love it. Okay. 
Um, I think that basically covers a couple of things I want to talk about. But yeah, I've reorganized my bar over here uh, just to make it a little easier for me to uh, spot everything. Although I'm realizing, I think that my druid bar. Yeah, there we go. That's got to be moved over like that. There we go. I want to leave a gap here because, oh, and actually, you know what? That little arrow is showing me there was more stuff in there. Oh, yeah. The hamstring shot and speak with dead. There you go. There's a little red dot that shows up when there's like more things. Like you can see one over here to show that there's more things in this category. Um, but I want to leave this blank because what will happen here is if I do swap a weapon or if I equip something, for example, when I equip the medallion of uh, speak with dead here, it puts it here by default. And then you'll know that you've got an ability there and then you can reorganize it or whatever. So I like the idea of leaving a gap, but I've standardized all my characters, like their items over here. I just want to see the potion, uh, the potions of healing and the scroll of revivify. If I want to access any of my other items in battle, I'll just click items over here to see the full list, you know? Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm getting a warning that quills from a true audience. So polite. And, oh, it's because of the game. Oh, you know what? The other thing too, as I wonder if it automatic, it's because the game has some nudity in it which I want to make sure to turn those off before we stream. Although, yeah, I guess the content warning is going to be present regardless, because, yeah, I guess it's... I'm assuming the game's probably rated M for Mature or something like that. Anyway, we have a shovel now, so let's go diggy diggy hole. But yeah, Quill's very slow, or Delures is really slow. Sorry, my main character in the Baldur's Gate was named Quill. So we're going to have to move some, some items around here. Scroll of Dark Vision and a Scroll of Expeditious Retreat. Nice. Uh, all right. Dell, let me uh, just sort by weight. And yeah, we're going to grab these leather armors and just send them. Shadowheart's got the most strength in a party, a whole 13. Woo. But there you go. We'll go ahead and clear some space. All right, that's one diggy diggy hole. During our walks together, aren't you, Gang? Um, sure. In silence. <laughs> I love the banter. Can't turn off nudity in this game, I tried, but even with it off, dragons and brains are full naked. Not naked dragons! Oh no! <laughs> Potion of animal speaking, which we really don't need. Actually, animal speaking is another example of a ritual. Um, so I can always have animal speak on. What I'm going to be doing is um, I've actually prepped because I knew we were going to town. I've swapped my spells around here for more of what I consider like my town, my social uh, skills. So I got speak with animal ready, animal friendship as well. Um, which isn't a ritual spell, but can be used contextually in a conversation. Same with Charm Person can be used there. Uh, there's a risk. It does say in higher difficulty mode, so it's possible. We're just playing on balance. We're playing on normal difficulty. It's possible Charm Person doesn't aggro people afterwards. Okay. Long Strider. Moon being so I have a damage option, but also enhance ability. So gain advantage on ability checks chosen ability. So what I could do is use enhance ability on myself for charisma um, when we go into town to talk to people. So we should be in a really good position for social interactions. And then when we leave town, I'll swap to maybe a more combat oriented kind of thing. It'd be great to like be able to like save spell sets for four conditions, but I mean, I'm not I'm not seriously asking that necessarily. Um, so yeah, let's pop back over here. And I'm actually wondering if I should take a little short rest here with Dell. Not as bad as I could have. I might be able to get away without it here. There you go. That's a pretty good heal. At least things have stayed interesting. Okay. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna use a rest quite yet. Oh, there's balsam over there. Hold on. Fit in my pack. Hold on. There we go. So Dillard's is emoting about you know things not fitting in his pack. I wonder. Oh God. Freaky sound. I wonder if that's because he's the more one than thing half full. I really dislike about this game is that I can't decide what character I want to play. Right. I've played through the crypt five times already, and I just don't know. No, I mean, you guys, like, anyone who's on the Discord knows how long I was hemming and hawing between different characters, and I made entire videos about it as well. Yeah, I was bare-ass naked yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Instant Kamara. Thank you very much for the sub. Remember your Twitch Prime, yeah. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! <clears throat> when there's one goblin, there's ten. I'm leaving before the horde shows up. One fight just ended, now you're picking another? Relax. Druid? Those goblins didn't take any prisoners. You can cough up my payment anytime now. Let's let's make sure the voting is still working today. We're going to start a community poll for this choice. Uh, and it works by, I believe, clicking buttons on the Twitch overlay, which may not work on mobile. I don't know. It might just be PC only. Uh, I'm not sure. But 
hopefully that'll show up in a minute. Sometimes there's a little bit of lag before it does. But uh, I wonder, I might have to reset the Twitch integration here from yesterday. Oh, no, there's the votes. There we go. So it just takes a little while for the, the thing to pop up. Excellent. So what I'm personally thinking here, oh, you know what? I think I agree with people. So with the Lords of Vibe, right? I really want to be a, like a diplomatic person, Druid. Um, I talked a lot about the sort of like, you know, the kind of tit for tat mentality, the generally preserving life kind of mentality as a Druid. Um, and, you know, trying to give everyone a chance. Dolores isn't a pacifist by any means. That's not, that's not what the role is going to be. Um, but it's going to be, you know, uh, what's it called? Like war is a continuation of diplomacy by other means or something like that. You know, that, that kind of vibe maybe. See, I really like that. But I also quite like the idea of three druid. The prisoners didn't, the, the, the goblins didn't take any prisoners. Because that would sort of like, because this is like, I want to get this information. Like, yeah, what are you talking about? But, which I'm assuming will lead to while he was taking earlier or something like that. But I think first thing we need to do is get this settled down. So fight just ended. And now you're picking another fight. Relax. Tell that to the dead at the gate. Short it, horns. Oh, I should have enhanced ability I first. I'd dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tale. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. Racism? You see the In a D&D setting? Clench is about to erupt. Ooh, insight check successful. Stand back and watch? No, I don't think that's us. We could melee attack, take a swing at the tiefling. We could strength check. Whoa! Looking forward to the D&D &D action. I've never understood why these AAA titles think they need photorealistic graphics. I'd rather good gameplay and a cheaper game. Well, that's a good point, right? Obviously, graphics are not gameplay, but there are excellent graphics in this game, and I really do think they help sell the story and get you more involved. Like, as much as I love Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, and I do, I think the graphics here were very well executed. He does have a tail, yeah. Uh, so we can do a strength check, aim a blow at the human, trying to knock him flat on his back, or we can do a persuasion check. And here I am kicking myself that I didn't use um, the uh, the enhance ability uh, ahead of time um, because we would have had advantage on this roll. But let's see what we can do. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. And I think this is exactly the sort of line I do want Dell to say. We are going to add in our guidance bonus. Oh, I can I can cast Eagle Spender now because of course I can, which is great. We could do a charm person, but we're not going to. We're But we're going to do this. Um, interesting. How come... Shadowheart can't provide me the guidance right now. Because right now it'd be guidance from Dell. Shadowheart might be slightly out of range, which is unfortunate. But I'm gonna cast this because it's gonna last for like the until long rest. It's gonna last until the end of the day. So we're gonna have this for the rest of the conversations, which is gonna be groovy. Yeah, Shadowheart must be too far away, which is I think because we triggered this conversation when we as a whole group was quite far away, and it must have with the conversation start sort of just teleported Dell a little closer. Okay. DC 15 is hard. Well, let's do what we can. Hey, I rolled an 18. Oh, what a beautiful number. Of course, that becomes a 22 here with the power of math. Oh yeah, we've got we've got custom dice. I gotta remember to hit the little customized dice button over here to see what we can do. You're right. There's too much at stake. Shadow Heart approves. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we oh, Gale too. More goblins could be on their way. And there you go. Eagle Splendor is running. We got to speak with animals. We got a long strider. We do need a healer. That's true. Hey there, uh, Zevlor, was it? Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard. Enchantment? No Enchantment! Join him. Thank you. For your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Ah, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Delure. Man, we've got to introduce ourselves first. I'll, I'll take my thanks and coin. I have been playing a character with the um the dark urge origin. Holy crap, is it ever a different game? I that that's what I'm doing as my second game. Um, but again, not going very far with it. And it is radically different to play with that. Especially when you leaned into it. Woo! Um, so yeah, no. I'm Dolores. Well met. I should warn you. 
Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, <laughs> just, just like stare at him. Quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Yeah, darker is not recommended for first playthrough. I I agree. Like it's a, it's not a good baseline of the experience. Um, but uh, yeah, dabbling with it a little bit was has been interesting. So we could say, why are they forcing you out? We could say, those goblins, have there been many attacks like that? I can say, I won't stay long, I just need to find a healer. Um, and then usually I like to use, whenever you get like a race or class exclusive option, usually I want to do it because first of all, it's like it's oftentimes, it feels like usually it's going to give you an advantage or something, but also it's going to be an option that isn't possible in other gameplays. Still, I kind of don't like the vibe for this, right? Because here what they're saying, um, yeah, visitors no longer welcome in this grove. I'm saying, you, I'm not like other visitors. I'm a druid, therefore I'm important and better. But I mean, it is literally a druid grove, so, but I'm also literally a visitor, so, yeah. I think I, I think I want to ask him questions before I go to this right now. So, wh wait, wh why, why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's yeah, it sounds a bit arrogant, yeah. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I need a healer. This is all about me, me, me. Or what brought you here? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just ask a few more questions. Like, why, why did you come to this druid grove in the first place? I mean, it seems pretty obvious. They needed to... There's monsters out there, but... We are refugees from Elturel. Elturel. We took shelter here after Knowles attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. The descent? Mm. An infernal conspiracy that had seen the entire city of Elturel briefly dragged to the hells. Seriously? Is this a novel or something? Ooh, that's not a story I'm familiar with. Unlike the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise. Um, if your people survive that, they'll survive anything. I do like that kind of positivity, but also, you know, they might not survive an arrow to the chest. Is there a place for tieflings anywhere? Maybe your people should have stayed in hell. Come on. I'm going to go with option two. Is there a place for tieflings anywhere? Hmm. A fair point. We can only hope the citizens of Baldur's Gate are more open-minded, but we can't get there with those beasts blocking our path. Sounds like the descent into Avernus adventure. Oh, maybe it was a campaign. Oh, shit. Maybe I should get that. I could run it for my uh, my D and D group. We haven't played D and D in a while, but been itching to get back to it. Although this is gonna help scratch that itch. All right, yeah, let's go here. The ritual. Is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I mean, honestly, the ritual seems like a good idea if it wasn't going to go and like kick out all the non-druids like a big protective ritual in this you know troubling time i was gonna say time of trouble but that's a specific historical time in forgotten realms but i've tried Korga, their new first druid won't even see me you though i know it's not your business but she owes you for saving this place. also in this situation i'd Perhaps play the druid card persuade her for more time to prepare if nothing else Sorry, I got my own problems. What after for me? No, no, of course. I'll see what I can do. Really? We're messengers now. We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. All righty. So... Again, I have been to the Druid Grove like once in early access and may have even covered it in the stream or something like that. Um, and also in a recent multiplayer session with some friends, although that one went, um, that one went a little bit in an interesting way. The, 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 basically, we don't have to worry about the ritual happening because there's basically no one left alive in the Grove. We're going to try to avoid that kind of outcome this time around, but I'm also eager to talk to a lot of the NPCs because I really didn't do like a full pass of everything last time. Um, in, in the early, early access, so I'm kind of eager to see what's there. Uh, these don't have the little red icon, so I guess we can 
we can grab from this. It's just free for the taking. Ooh, a courgette or a zucchini. An ignoble hat. Hold on. Got to play some fashion squirrels here. Uh, oh, I thought the chapeau would go. Is it still sorted by type? Did it like keep that sorting? Yeah. There it is. Oh yeah, I do have the hats hidden. Yeah, which will continue to be the case. Although maybe a Starian would look nice with it. Well, hello. Well, hello to you too. Oh, I forgot. I gotta uh, uh, send to a Starian. Trust no one. I mean, it's the wrong color for everything else, but it it doesn't not work. Hey, Quill, pay attention. Plus, I think it'll be funny. We're just going to throw that on his noggin. Uh, oh, yeah, I have these gloves of power. That's right. Uh, we got them. I think it was one of the loots from the fight outside. And I passed it to Asterion because I thought he might be a good candidate for it because it does have plus one sleight of hand. I mean, the ab Absolute's Bane is quite nice. On a melee hit, possibly inflict minus 1d4 penalty to targets attack roll and saving throws. I mean, honestly, anyone who melees, maybe even oh, Quill, would be good. Although I'm not sure we'd still benefit from this ability um, if we were shapeshifted because the items generally meld into you, whether or not you get to keep their magic bonus um, kind of varies depending on what edition of D&D you're playing and things like that, and in terms of BG3 specifically, I don't know. Um, and then you sub. Mr. Coke! Thank you very much for the sub! Uh, did the glove of power hurt you too or does only work on enemies? Um, it's just, tar it's the target. But anyway, it gives plus one sleight of hands, which is something that as a rogue... Um, Asterion will be doing, so it seemed like a great pick for him. Oh, wait, did he literally? Oh, it was already equipped. Okay, I think I did this, um, this morning or last night, but I did, he didn't have it before. I missed the fact that when you filter this to equipment, it actually shows equipped stuff. But yeah, okay, so I'd already put it on him. Good, because that's what I want. Excellent. Still breathing. Despite everything. We gotta, we gotta go and sell some things. Now you can trade with just about any NPC, but I know some of them are like more vendory, so they have more money and more goods and things like that. Uh, so, and I think they show up on the map like this. These people with the money bags. I care about our lives. We're gonna deal with this conversation out here first, though. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back, right now. Oh yeah, did I take off my own hat? Oh yeah, I took off my leather helmet. That's right, which we're definitely hiding. What's going on here? Bells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate. Secret Chief, yes, it's available on PC. Came out yesterday. Just take a moment, please. What's the point in blades and spells yeah. if we don't bloody use them? Why we should stay. Next SG These people link for are this? fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. No. That's fine too. Sorry, let me review this. Can't leave, gambling, I'll take a moment. Okay, yeah, it's just people being cranky. These people aren't fighters. We can help or yell louder. Oh, this, is this like another, like, is this a little bit of an adventuring band? And so they're like, well, we could help the people that are here. They're talking about leaving. So this guy here wants to leave and they're probably fine on their own. And then who's making the case to stay? Yeah, Leah wants to stay and help the other tieflings here. So we could say nothing. Get out while you can, the goblins be back or persuade them. You should all say a single blade can make a difference. Well, I'm going to say this, and I'm hoping like it's going to be a build up. Listen, stay. I'm going to go talk to the druid so that you're not being forced out or whatever. Everything will be better. Plus, you know, uh, my persuasion should be awesome right now. Oh, yeah, it's only a 20. We can also add our guidance in now as well. So look at this. Plus two charisma, plus two because we have a proficiency, another D4, and we're going to have. I'm sorry. I can't have Guidance and Eagle Splendor take effect here. Is it a balance thing that only one spell effect can be applied to a check? I suppose that would be fair. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, oh! That's interesting. So even though I'm not currently casting Eagle Splendor, because I'm the one who cast it, I can't have that and Guidance. Oh, wait, is it a concentration? Eagle Splendor is probably a concentration. Yes. So I would actually be killing the spell. So yeah, it's going to be that much more important to have um, 
uh, Shadowheart do it. Okay, thank you. Thank you for helping us work through this mystery. All right, crushed it. Guys, I'm just so good at this game. Oh, switch dice. I always forget until I roll and you can't, you can't do it then. Thank you. It's the right thing to do and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by goblin blade. There you, you go. Power of positive thinking. Oh, great. Right. I forgot that uh, we got we to gotta hide that helmet again. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Depends how many people are dumb enough to ask. How many people are dumb enough to ask? Thunder, 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 thunder wave. Hey, Aaron. Refugees, adventurers. No, Karmic Dice is turned off. in years and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? I lower my prices for fellow druids. Hey! To be quick. The I... ritual will be complete before too long. I get a discount because I'm a druid? Oh, baby. I'll take that. Um, are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every Can't day. Can't please ask Roland Trough for Thunderwave. That's a good idea. We should. Yeah, but what about the people who are here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. I mean, I will say this for the druids. They're not... I mean, are they required to accept and protect literally everyone who happens to come by? You know, it, I mean, that's certainly not part of their oath or anything like that. Um, from that perspective, is there a limit to how much they can necessarily do if they're closing off the grove is there going to be a limit to how much food they can uh produce and sustain uh, so like you know these are these are legit questions i'm not saying that the druids are necessarily wrong or evil for closing everything up except the way they're going about things and various reasons maybe but like on principle it's not an automatic innate this is wrong from the start but we're still going to try to not go that way um, yeah, you said the regions over on my monsters. They won't survive by themselves. You're condemning these people to death. As I said, it's a drastic measure, but the survival of the grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Yeah, exactly. They may not be wrong, but are they right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm looking for a healer. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. No, I just stubbed my toe in some piece of wood. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. All right, what you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. And yeah, you can always trade with anyone by clicking the little trade button over there in between conversations. But all right, it is time. Interesting, when you're in the barter side, there's no sell all wares option. Huh. I gotta say, um, one of the things um, that Divinity Original Sin 2 did, it was, I felt a little easier to tag the wares. Um, and in early access, it was easier to tag the wares and they changed a couple of things about the UI. But let's sell everything that I've got marked as wares here. Yeah, you don't have enough money, okay. Um, I guess that would be the advantage of the barter system. Can I, I guess, I mean, I can just double click. Can I shift click? Is there a faster way to do it other than just double clicking? Ugh. Well, if I make some purchases, okay, maybe it's better to go here. So it'd be great. Yeah, I'm not wrong, right? Save that piece of wood from your toe, right? You should craft an cursed arrow. <laughs> I'm thinking about casting in a resin, but we'll see. Yeah. Well, right click for fast selling. Okay, well, not here because it's a pop-up menu. What about on this screen? No, I think it's still just... Yeah, actually on this screen, it literally does nothing right-clicking, which is interesting. So double-clicking does it. So we clearly have more than 458 uh, gold worth of stuff to sell. Is there anything we want to buy from this guy? Ah, the gloves of missile snaring. You can intercept missiles from ranged weapon attacks, reducing their damage by 1d10 plus your dexterity modifier. A fantastic thing to give to someone with relatively high dexterity, um, which does include a few of us. I mean, I've got the 14. I think Asterion must have a pretty decent dexterity. That might be it. But he's already got gloves. 
And again, I'm not sure if it'll uh, this will have any effect when I'm not in druid form, although it will protect me if I'm trying to cast spells from ranged attacks. Um, let's see what else we got. Ringmail plus one is a heavy armor. Um, yeah, no one's proficient in heavy armor in our group. Okay. What about this ring here? Ring of flinging. Gain a bonus 1d4 damage to throw. Uh, okay. Chain shirt. So I could wear this because I can wear medium armor. AC bonus from dexterity limited plus two, which is a normal thing with medium armor. Um, I think I should do that. Again, it won't matter when I'm in animal form, but it'll matter in other places. Wanderer's armor. Well, that's interesting. So the spirit material take one less slashing damage. This has less AC, but it does include the plus one bonus to dexterity saving throws and checks and plus one to nature. Hmm. It's still medium armor. Padded armor here is light armor that takes less bludgeoning damage. Rain Dancer is a quarterstaff that's got the built-in create water. That's quite cool as an option. Spell Thief. Once per short rest, you regain one spell slot when you land a critical hit with the Spell Thief. I could use this myself as my longbow because I am proficient well, in it. That's actually kind of interesting. So we'll probably make some purchases because we got a fair amount of cash. Single-use Arrow of Ilmater. Necrotic damage prevents target from regaining hit points. Arrow of Darkness. I mean, there's definitely some funky stuff here. Uh, does BG3 have the thing where druids don't wear or use anything metal? No, that hasn't existed, I think, since 2nd edition. Maybe 3rd edition as well? But yeah, there's no such restriction over here. Um, Delores here can wear the chain shirt perfectly fine. It's in 5e? Is it really? Oh. Okay, I didn't realize that. But yeah, the video game doesn't actually care. Hmm. As far as I can tell. I mean, again, it, it looks like it doesn't it doesn't care here. I'm definitely going to spend some money. I'm just trying to decide on what. Well, I think I'm going to get this chain shirt for myself, if nothing else. Or or it can go to uh, Shadowheart, because she can also wear medium armor. Either way, if we do that. There really needs to be an add all wares button here. Or I suppose what I could do is I could just buy this. I balance. No, it doesn't try to add the wares. Um, but I was going to say I could buy this and uh, then he'd have more money and then we'd be able to do the wares. But Oh, that's true. The Demon Act has pointed out that uh, humans in Baldur's Gate 3 get shield proficiency. Um, so we can give Gale a shield. Okay, that's more stuff. Hold on. Okay, let me let me finish this part anyway for now. Actually, do you sell a regular shield? No, we're gonna have to just loot one. Well, you know what? We didn't have any trap disarm kits. You know what? I like that. Let's buy two. I don't need thieves tools. We got a few of those. Should I get some more scrolls of revivify? We've got a few in the party, so I think we're okay. Gale already knows Magic Missile. I mean, Color Spray is pretty good. Um, it doesn't tell us what school it is in here, does it? Is Color Spray... Color Spray must be Illusion, right? Not Evocation? Druids choose not to wear metal armor in 5e, no mechanical penalty restriction on it. Oh. All right, let's do this. Now, let's come back over to this screen, where at least I can sell the rest of the wares. There we go. And he's still got some money left over after that. Oh, scroll a blink. That's probably worth considering on a, a purchase. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll wait right now. All right, I'm going to buy this. I think I'll wear it for the plus one a dex bonus. Or at the plus one uh, the plus one to nature actually more than the dex bonus and I'll give um, I'll give Shadowheart the other armor. Sylvanas guide your path. Same to you, buddy. 
I mean, plus, I mean, this one's like feels a little bit more druidy. So just, you know, on theme. And yeah, so in uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 and in early access, you could shift click a piece of armor to um, to mark it as wares. Uh, but they they don't have that as a shortcut anymore in this because shift lets you like ma uh, bulk select some things. Can I just drop it onto her face? Yeah, there we go. That might be a little more convenient. That's two clothing. For these uh, clothing outfits, what I'll probably do is I'm just going to send those to the camp so that I can play, like, dress up later on when I want. Scruffy Vagamon's clothes, same thing. We're just going to send those to the camp. And there might be some uh, some things, like, I want to keep as, like, memorabilia. The portrait of Thane here, same thing. And this teddy bear, I'm going to send it to the camp just because it feels like there might be a situation at some point where, like, some kid, oops, not to wears, uh, some kid wants it of teddy bear and be like, oh, hold on, I've got one I've saved in the camp. But yeah, otherwise, I think we can flag these as wares as well. This old druid armor. Okay, I want to keep the Book of the Dead Gods, although there's no actual indication to me that we need it for anything. Same thing with this uh, this letter. I'm actually hoping that if they keep it around, maybe I should send it to camp so I don't lose it. But this is the letter that we found on, on someone who died, presumably Sai here. Uh, and I'm hoping we find Anna at some point. So I guess what I'll do with these three items so that I don't accidentally sell them or whatever, we're going to send them to camp as well. So we have them later. Um, actually, this ball too, because I don't know if you get a dog at some point, but I hope so, and then we'll have we'll have a ball to play with them. All right, I think that cleans up his inventory fine. So Shadowheart, we're going to go and give you this chain shirt, improving your AC by one. Oh, that's okay. The cell wears is only for yeah the active character, which makes sense because it's set up for like multiplayer, so it really like has everyone have their unique inventory. Although yeah, it makes means I do have to make sure to go and right. do a little quick little sell now? with everyone. Need anything else? I don't know if everyone gets the same price boost. <laughs> and discount, but what I'll probably do, and you don't have any wares, okay? Because now. Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Now everyone's got some gold in their inventory, so I'm just going to go and fling that all onto the one character so I know exactly how much I've got to spend for things. Okay. All right, good. Shopping semi-complete. We might make some more purchases, but our sales are at least done. Ooh, there's there's a plaque here. There's a plaque. This grove is kept by Sylvanas' faithful. And occasionally some jerks as well. Let's get down to this lower area first. My fill of this place. Arth is kind of pretty. My better roller can reeking of this place. I will never get the smell of my clothes. Well, I, this is not flagged as theft. So I guess we'll take it. We instinctually know what we are ethically allowed to take. Oh, it's empty. That may be why. Oh, we haven't read this book yet. One foot, two feet. Well met, we'll meet. Two drakes, one mink, one draft, two drinks. Or draft. Clearly a drogata. Anyway, one bear, three bears. Come join, drink here. Should probably be more musical than I'm doing. One foot, two meet. Well met, we'll meet. Yandal and Garl shard twixt them afar. All covered in butter, and they liked each other. Along came a fly who flew with a cry to the buttery farrel and yon uh, of Yandal and Garl. When Garl took a bite, Yandala shrieked with fright. Don't eat that, oh my, that's a butterfly. Terrible. There was an old man named Elman who made the best buns in Faerun. The elders did scold him whenever he sold them, saying, Elm, bring those buns to our room. You're an idiot. <laughs> All right. Oops. This place seems oh. remarkably tense oh. for a sacred grove. Perhaps I... we shouldn't linger. Accidentally clicked on her. There's a healer to be found, first of all. But I like, I didn't really, did I realize, and we should check whenever we get to a new type of location, we should see if our companions have anything to say. I want to talk about what's happened to us. I do. I don't know if now we should get to know each other a little. No, no. Journey separate. Okay. I'm going to go with option one. I want to talk about what's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? Well, I can tell you what's in my mind. A little worm. New Elminster canon accepted. <laughs> How am I holding up in your estimations? Is this just like finding out like what, you know, the approval level is? the kind of company I'd keep willingly but all things considered you'll do it does have steam deck and support and controller I support I haven't forgotten that you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid perhaps I'll be able to return the favor at some point I'm hoping that favor never has to be repaid 
Uh, yeah. All right, let's leave. Gail. I never had cause to visit a druid's grove before. Do you like me? Yes, no. Magic weighs heavy. Yes, here. definitely, absolutely. Seeking solace in root and soil. Grounding, one might say. Sure, Blarney. What would you like? Assuming it's not too spoilery, what would you want me to do for science back at camp? Hope the goblins aren't smart enough to poison their blades. Die. Yeah. This seems like a lovely little spot. The, yeah, the hat suits them. Okay. A little bit of flavor. Uh, Icaron. We've known enough grief this 10 day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. Okay. Be a jerk. Ooh, there's a recruitment poster. A man and woman stand by, stand side by side in armor emblazoned with a red fist surrounded by flames. Find pride and purpose in the flaming fist. I serve the flaming fist. Join today and protect Baldur's Gate. Led by Grand Duke Older Ravenguard himself, you'll be tasked with guarding the city streets, protecting its people, and upholding the laws that govern us. Speak to any of our friendly fists throughout the city, or visit our headquarters at the Sea Tower of Balduron to find out how you can blaze a new career path today. Oh my. I'm assuming most of these packs that I can steal from are probably empty. I am not grumpy. Down on your face with front of troll. Yeah, I hope the Flaming Fist still has that, those, that accent as well. I agree. All right, let's go down here. Okay, see, these are flagged red, and when you mouse over, you can see the red icon. So those would be theft, which I'm not interested in participating in. Although, I mean, maybe a Asterion will sneak off by himself and do some theft later on, but we'll see. Ooh. Damn, goblins. She used to be an adventurer like us until she took an arrow to her arm. That's going to get infected. Wait for her to finish cleaning the wound. You should probably get that looked at. Seriously, don't wait. Terrible things gonna happen to you. Oh, I, I was just gonna let it fall off, stick it in my satchel. <laughs> I ain't letting anyone here near me. They all sat and watched while Zevlor near got us killed. Um. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Hey, Stalmar, thanks. Don't tap on it. Does she have part of her tree, a tree in her arm? Um, I've done the same in your place. He let you in, didn't he? Could have been worse. You are to blame. You put his people in danger. I've done the same in your place. What was what was the same? I guess running up to the gate and asking to be let in. Which, yeah. But he also did let you in. I don't know. Let's do a vote on this one. I'm not These options still seem depending on how exactly they're they're said, right? We I, I feel like there's some lacking context here in, in the vibe that's gonna come up. I definitely don't want to go with three. But are we going for number one or are we going for number two? Clicky on your screen. I feel like one is bad. Yeah, maybe. I'm I'm wondering like if it like that would lead to more more animosity or something. I don't know. Lots of votes for two. We're gonna go with two. That's great. Angry Black Socialist, thanks for the sub! Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. I mean, goblins are pretty appropriate enemies for low-level fighters. I'm just saying. Liam, no. He charged him. The stupid bastard. Banana, I agree completely. These choices need to tell us the emotional context like we're in Elcor. Yes. Hmm. Sincerely, I'm guessing that didn't end well. No. Nah. Or compassionately. He must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. Wound looks clean, small mercies. All right. That's good. You didn't leave a bit of tree in there? We dis. Barth! Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Don't okay. make me hurt you, boy. Too late! Rolling. Looking at you is painful I enough! not grumpy. Scowl on your face in front of a troll. What did Melly do to Barth here? Did You're he steal? I know there's a there's a pickpocket-y kind of ring in here. Ramira! We're packing up. Wait. I'd advise you to do the same. Same person we just talked to. Kind ain't welcome here. How stupid are you? Okay, hold on. I want to see what's going on over here. What's the story? One more time. Tell me what's happening. Hand over my locket. 
Mm. I don't have your ugly locket. I never seen it before. Okay, that is a cute tiefling kid. Slap the teeth out of your head. Every time it like pauses on my face, I'm waiting for like a Mass Effect style like Paragon and Renegade option. Like, where's the quick time event? Don't you dare lay a finger on that child. You better do what he says, boy. Keep quiet and watch. I mean, yes, option one. It does feel a little a little aggro here. Like, you know, I would have felt like there'd be a better like, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, buddy. Hold on, kind of option. But here, yeah. I mean, even if the kid did steal it, like, that's a pretty violent, yeah. You threatening me? I mean, I, I guess, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, probably a little bit. Forget the one in trouble. Persuasion, you're the one making threats to a child. Pull yourself together, man. Yeah. Raise a hand to that child and you'll lose it. So, yeah, we're going to do persuasion. Again, we're like so primed for it. Like, we got this shit in the bag. This is what I want. The diplomatic druid. See, oh, he didn't roll that high. I mean, we rolled high enough by itself, but then we still get like a ton of modifiers. Cham. You don't understand. The kid stole my locket. He. Well, yeah, I mean, and we can still resolve that. These little devils get away with everything because of godly bastards like you. <laughs> You'll get yours someday. A fucking dice. I hope I get to see it. I get too excited to roll. But personally, I doubt it. See you around. I mean, kid, you're clearly a shit disturber. <laughs> oh, I was gonna, I was gonna talk to you. Well, we'll catch up with you somewhere else. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I feel bad. I want Barth to get his his, his locket back, his amulet back, or whatever it was. But yeah. All right, let's talk to Aridin. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Oh, I did have stand up for your crew. I respect that. He tried to be. No, I mean, I do respect that. Like, he, you know, he was like, let us in to the, the thing. He was the one arguing, I think, with Zevlin at the front. And. It's entirely reasonable, I would say, for tempers to have been fairly high in that moment, right? It, I, you don't, I try not to judge people in the moment for things like this. It's one of the things that always comes up when we're watching F1 race, right? And something happens and one of the drivers gets on a radio and he's like, oh, that asshole cut me off and all this stuff. And it's like, and you know, maybe they're right, maybe they're wrong in that moment, but I don't try to judge their personality based on that in the heat of the moment. It's what they do afterwards. So here, hopefully people have relaxed a little bit. Do, do, do. Now that you resolve that locker problem, stab the kid in the back, you have a free locket. You're up. Half my crew are full of holes. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here and losing track of the bloody druid. Who is this druid you lock track of? I keep hearing about this. Seems like something I'd be interested in. Alson. He's a leader around these parts. Or was. We've got a contract to track down some relic and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Huh. Can I have a look at that contract? I wasn't expecting that question, but maybe we want to know where the thing is or what the artifact is. <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate oh. that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. All right, yeah, just yeah, any idea what the relic is? If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Todger means penis, right? It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. Yep, that. Show you where we turn back. Yeah, sure. Sounds great. Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Bolton. Yes, uh, Ikoiko. I did. We did get a uh, shovel. Yeah, right. Iko Iko. Maybe that's how your name is. All right. Let's talk to uh, Dennis. Mm. We're exposed. Uh. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't oh. allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door. Something so terrible is going to happen to these people. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. 
<laughs> um, you tiefling refugees, you'd be lucky to get a square of dirt at a public house. I mean, honestly, that might be what they should expect in Baldur's Gate. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Good luck to you both. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. They're a handsome couple. Big plans for when you get to the city. Hmm. Pint in a clean room. Plans? I'm just surviving the journey is ambitious enough already. I won't be joining you. Baldurian. Right. I don't know if, like, like these options are available be because they imply that we're from Baldur's Gate. Um, Like, I wonder if you just don't take these options. It's like, no, I'm actually not there from there, but I guess we are. Blushing Mermaid, or this, at least it's knowledge of Baldur's Gate, right? Blushing Mermaid for me, a bit rough, but the ale's cheap. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll be seeking the warmth of the Ale Song Tavern. So for those of you who have played, say, Baldur's Gate 1, these should be uh, recognizable. The Ale Song's quite cool. It's rumored to be, like, haunted by an elven maiden, which is neat. I think I've heard of that place. Something about a stuffed dragon's head in one of the dining rooms. Maybe? It's settled, Dannis. You, me, and the Elf Song Tavern first thing when we arrive. If we see you there, we'll get you a pint for your finder's fee. All right, works for me. Can can I just can I read the books without them being like stealing? I'm assuming so. Yeah, there you go. See, everything it's steel over here, but this is not red. It was just browsing. What was this? The, the realm according to something. The book naturally falls to a dog-eared page in which Bumpo describes the more unusual races he's met in his travels. But they weren't half so strange as the bird folk. First Aarakocra I met had the head of a parrot, the body of a human, and wings also of a parrot. I tried not to stare, but it was real hard. Turns out she was one of a motley party, because round her table was a tabaxi, cat folk, a genasi, element folk, and a turtle, turtle folk. Trying to act casual, I asked what the hell they all were. They ignored me, but I can't blame them. To them, I must have looked awfully dull and average, for they were the first of their kind I'd seen, but I was just one of a billion boring humans to them. This is other book. The True and Impossible Adventures of Tenebrux Morrow, Volume 2. Yeah, sounds like a typical party, yeah. An excerpt from the True and Impossible Adventures of Tenebrux Morrow, a pulp serial following the real-life exploits of an interplanner ship's captain. The real Captain Morrow is known never to have left her native Waterdeep and emerges from her rooms at the Yawning Portal only to exchange scrawled manuscripts for fresh me meals and ink. And thus, in the light of the Feywild never setting sun, we passed into the land of the Eladrin. My astute resolution to sail round their force was betrayed. It seems to me that the river itself conspired to change course, bringing the new bride into the shadow of the trees that I might see those dancing figures up close. The form of the Eladrin with which I am now intimately familiar, is that of elves as seen in a fever dream. Slender as wands and with hair of every changeable hue, their moods mirror that fey wilderness from which they spring. One moment gentle as a still pond, the next inexorable and deadly as a falling mountain. The latter I experienced only after spending many agreeable hours, or perhaps seasons, among them. A halfling woman, employed among my crew as a smith, dared to raise her voice in song above that of her hosts. The depth of the insult became clear as the forest fell into silence, and it was only quick thinking on my part that delivered a compromise. When we left, it was without our smith, and the only sound was the solitary ring of her hammer as she endeavored to forge a blade that would sing the Eladrin more sweetly than she. It has been some centuries now, or since. I hope she has succeeded by now. All right, heading deeper into this little ravine. Easy money. So Damon over here is like a potential vendor type person. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, you have a very Just square head. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Eltaro. That forge is holding on by a thread. Are you a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Eltaro fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. We have a coin to operate with. Yes. My offerings are far more humble these days. Let me see your wares. All right. So we still have a bunch of cash. Uh, lots of dies. Safeguard shield. The shield also includes a plus one saving throw. 
Interesting. Maybe we could give that to... Well, I mean, um, uh, Shadowheart used a shield in addition to the fact that we can throw one on our wizard here. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. We I could get a plus one rapier for um, Asterion. <laughs> You're an idiot. I mean, I don't want to overspend, but at the same time, we got the money. There's a regular shield. So regular shield is plus two AC. This is still... It's not that much more, right? 31 bucks. This is 115. And we get the plus one to a saving throw? Yeah. Go on. Cheap. You know, the barter interface is handy because it does prevent me from, like, misclicking or pulling the wrong thing over because we don't actually complete the sale until we're done. And we don't have to worry about losing money on the, the buyback. Um... Thing is, maybe. Hell, even Will could use uh, the rapier because he does that. Although we'll probably want him to elk last, despite the style that he showcases when How things first show up. Shows off his thunder wave. 178 bucks. How many people are dumb enough? To mm. <laughs> True. We'll do that. We'll buy a, a regular shield as well. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, just noticed. Um, we have a couple more wear things that we had flagged. All right, let's balance that out. You can switch between character screens to sell the old equipment right away. Um, yeah, I don't think it's part of the same sale. Yeah, it's a little annoying. Yeah, she didn't have, uh... Die if I met heroic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of so, it. We'll so, let's send you the, the regular shield, send you the magic shield, and send you the raper. Everyone gets a new toy! Oh, she did have a non magic shield. Never mind, so I didn't have to buy one. For some reason, I didn't think she had one, but that's stupid. No rest for the wicked. I'm dumb. A long way from Waterdeep. Quarterstaff is versatile, so you can one hand it. But yeah, and. Let's check. Yeah, he is benefiting from the AC bonus, which is nice. It looks ridiculous. How delicious. But that does seem pretty handy. Hmm. What a day. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Your face I'm not sure. grumpy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're an idiot. Um, I'm and, oh, there he is. Now. Looking for steel? I think yours yeah. looks ridiculous. My Gale found a spiked Something goblin hurts. shield, and it's also bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Show me what you got. Um, do I... Hold on. Maybe we don't sell the grease bottles. Can I not remove from rares on this screen? Interesting. Okay, it did. It just didn't change the flag. Oh no, here. There. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? All right. Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? Well, I mean, <laughs> they keep repeating this, so I'm assuming this is an exchange we can actually do. Hey, Roland. We should have left by now. Damnation. Instead, we're just sitting here, practically. That's a good point, Flamebeard. Staying is a mistake. Although, obviously, I don't want Gale and Melee if I can avoid it. Hey, where, where's the option for the Thunder Wave? You're doing the right thing, the Tieflings need I don't know. Why the rush to leave, actually? You don't understand. My apprenticeship with Laroakan begins shortly. I cannot be late. Oh. Yes, that Laroakan. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. Okay. I've heard that name before. A young man. Yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the. I remember Ramazes Tower. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad, but you say he's an accomplished wizard. Of course he is, the greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. 
In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. Good idea. Powerful acquaintance never hurt. Hold on, I'm not sure about this. Lorcan, we need to go. More pressing problem. <laughs> I've heard stories about Lorcan, not all of them good. You know what? Sure, you know what? Powerful acquaintance never hurt. I suspect he's a bit of a scumbag, but we'll go with option one anyway. If it's powerful acquaintances you're after, you have to look no further than yours truly. As armor class works, soon the higher it is, the higher the enemy needs to roll to hit you. Yep, exactly. Talent. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. The armor class is the number you have to roll and then add your modifiers to to hit. So if it's armor class 15 and uh, you have a, let's say you have a plus two to hit, then you'll need to roll a 13 or better. We couldn't ask him to do the thunder wave. Lee and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. Those goblins will rue the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. Swing and swing. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Look how proud I look. Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Snotty elf. No, smells more than... No, no, no. Although, apparently she is a bit of a merchant. Uh, Just mostly selling food stuff and pack, pack, er, camp supplies, so we're good. Um, No, of course, we're going to be polite. Of course we'll take a bowl. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. Look, it ain't much, grumpy. but it might make Scanning all the difference. Face the, troll. the only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run and run hard. If a gnoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Item received. Rule. Mmm. Delish. I can't see it. No. Sort by latest. Where's my gruel? Oh, it might have gone as a, a camp supply. There it is. 3 to 12 healing. It's only worth one camp supply. Hang on. I don't know. I guess we'll leave it in there, but we might try to remember. Depends. So we can use it for out of camp, out of, uh, out of combat healing a lot more than the camp supply. <laughs> True. Save the gruel, throw it an enemy in a fight. I <laughs> uh, wish there was a quick sword punch. Yeah, so um, Divinity Original Sin 2, which is, I mean, not as good as Baldur's Gate, but it's the same engine. I think they had tabs for the categories. I mean, you can so you can have filters over here, which is good. I don't know if you can save your own filters. Because you can search and stuff. I don't know. Uh, Zoru. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Okay. I think we get like journal entries from this. It says press J to open. Oh no, it does go. Just didn't go on the first click. There's a lot of stuff going on here. If I met Aroic and reeking of this place. Oh, Aramis. Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Is that everything? Let's see. I guess we'll keep hugging the left hand side here. And then backtrack out of this. Boy, what's going on here? You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. It's a very punk rock Look goblin. Down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. She's got a good attitude. I kind of wish she was a companion. She's cool. But yeah, we definitely would not um, put up with this. This is not, we're not okay with this. We're going to step between the crossbow and the goblin. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're going to kill him too. You, move. I mean, uh, letter shoots and invade. Summary execution, you know. No, 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 not, not like that. I mean, it, it's a different setting and, you know, Lifetime imprisonment or long-term imprisonment here is not going to be viable, sure, but 
there's a big difference between uh, maybe being sentenced and just this. Lower the crossbow, uh, deliver your right to your brother. Oh, right, her brother died. Yeah, oh, that's a that's a harsh line. No, shoot me, should be easy, right? This won't avenge Can Canaan. I think that's how they pronounce his name. I kind of want to say Canaan, but I think they said Canaan. Won't change anything. Detect thoughts. Read the tiefling's thoughts. I mean, now I'm kind of curious. Because I like this, right? This won't avenge Canaan. This won't change anything. Is this a lithid power stuff? It doesn't say lithid. Do I have? Do I just have detect thoughts memorized? I might have it prepared. You know, we're just gonna go with three because this feels like more what I'd say. And again, we have such huge um, modifiers to this right now, which is great. Oh, again, Shadowheart is too far away to add the extra bonus. Okay. Oh, I have the scroll. Ah. Don't forget to change the dice. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! But why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Because I kind of care about everything living and dying. Although, you know, again, understand the nature of, like, battle and different things like that. She's not practiced targets as a person. If she dies, she'll take everything she knows to the grave. You go, a goblin prisoner. Her life isn't yours to take. And this is sort of the... The vibe here, but also because Venice eats people alive. You'll grant the goblins two victories this day. I kind of like that as a, as a thing, right? It's the, the idea of like hot blooded vengeance versus sort of a sentence handed down by kind of impartial justice. There's kind of an inherent difference in that in, in this setting. I mean, in real life, I'm very against the death penalty, but in this setting, it's not unreasonable. But this is, I like this. We're not we're not saving the goblin necessarily, we're saving her. You'd better be right. It's alright, Arca. Let's go. Now we kill the goblin. <laughs> oh you teeths are all boring. Even your cages are boring. Oh, Gail's got something to say. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. Oh, I might have a potion to tech thoughts. That's true, too. Hmm, rather important, no less. All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable After we high-fived him. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. In short, I've grown to trust Just you. Just quick, but we have gotten a lot of Gale approves messages. Hmm. Uh, it's very gratifying to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident <laughs> enough to tell you something together for 12 hours. another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition very different from the parasite we share but just as deadly i think i know what it is but oh druid nature finds the cure to most ailments tell me your symptoms and i might prepare a pulstice or potion it's not that kind of problem but let's go with that option thank you for the offer but the treatment for my condition is no gail's not the vampire specific what it comes down to is this Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb... Well, I guess he's a magic vampire. That's the vampire. Right over here. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic? I'm going to need the details. And I'm talking about here, one that ruined the item. What happens if you don't consume? Tell me you're addicted to magic. No, option one, I like this. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic? Yeah, I'm going to need the details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital, dare I say it, critical. Now, 
I don't remember this specific exchange from early access. I remember something that was going on with Gale, which I'm not going to say right now because it might be a spoiler or maybe it'll turn out to not be relevant. But I don't remember this exchange coming first, but I may have just not recalled this and instead recalled perhaps the reason he was doing it instead. Hmm. Um, where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, uh huh. You have one in your possession. You, you want my magic armor? You know for yourself, how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. I mean, I like my magic loot. I really don't want you eating it. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. At the end of the day, uh, at the end of all that, I lose a valuable artifact. No thanks. Um. I mean, like, I understand that you're in a bind, but also, like, this is a pretty serious problem, dude. Maybe I didn't earn his trust last time? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think two's, I think two's reasonable at this juncture. What exactly would I risk either of these things for wizard? I barely know. I mean, it's a little shitty, but I don't think unreasonable valid question if not out of the simple goodness of your heart then perhaps your own self-interest might be sufficient motivation having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands yeah if we gotta feed him a plus one item from time to time it's not the end of the world right please trust me your help could be the difference between life and death Very well, I'll do my best to get what you need. I have a powerful magic in my possession already. Take what you need. Uh, no, if you aren't willing to tell me the truth, I'm not helping you. Oh, you know what? We're going to use the tadpole. Seek the danger at the heart of Gale's request. We're going to try this. Right, I could flip my spell to give me advantage on wisdom checks, but I want to keep the charisma bonus for now. Although... Shadowheart does have the same spell. She could throw it on me, so presumably I would have both at the same time. Change dice. Thank you. I do like the flaming dragon. That's quite cool. Lifted purple. Ooh, blue's nice. But you know what? We'll, we'll try them from time to time. We'll start with the dragon one first. Assuming I'd have both of these, because I don't think Shadowheart's concentrating on anything right now. Let's go ahead and get the Owl's Wisdom rocking. Vantage really paid off this time. You become one with Gale's mind, and you can feel something sinister oppressing you. It's inside of you. A mighty darkness radiating okay. from your chest. You could try to push further, but your hold over Gale feels brittle. It won't be easy delving deeper without him noticing. Okay, so he does have, like, a ticking time bomb inside of him. No, I'm going to push more. Tough patootie. So, oh, can I, ch I don't know if there's a way to check what buffs I have running right now. I'm going to keep the dragon dice for another one. Um, so in case I still have my, um, my charisma boost, in action, I don't want to use my guidance and I don't want to use hers because it'll break this owl's wisdom. So we're just going to roll as is with advantage. Okay, well, we did roll really high. It was a harder check, you know, DC 15 here. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book mm -hmm. bound. I need more water. And suddenly opened. Inside, there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Maybe it's this is different. Its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Keeping me in suspense, are you? Come on, tell me. Do we have an agreement or not? So what I recall from early access is that, like, again, very early access, is that Gale said he had something in his chest that was going to explode. 
I don't remember the whole eating of magic or anything like that. So I'm wondering if they changed some things with him or if this is the same thing just being described in a different way. Maybe he didn't tell me the truth previously, but I don't remember the magic eating at all in like the early, early access. What you saw makes you hesitate. I'm going to help him. There's there's clearly something messed up going here. We're going to we're going to say that we can help him. <laughs> Thank you. I see my trust in you was not misplaced. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Even your cages are boring! So, like... Oh, I have the magic touch. I wonder if we just give him something in his inventory and we can right-click it and eat it. I mean, I don't have I don't have a spare magic item right now. I just have the stuff I've got equipped. I mean, unless he can can you can you eat a troll? I think the answer is no. And your birdies and your dogs. Yeah, I don't see anything there. Out of curiosity, if I were to um, we've got this rare amulet here. Oh, we'll say suitable to consume by Gale. Seek and you shall find me. Oops. Let me out, you bunch of softies! It doesn't say it there. I'm thinking it's the rare med medallion. I've got a long road ahead. Quick save here. If I go and slide that into his inventory. Lost in. You're gonna be sorry! It doesn't say it there either. He says we've got something that he can eat. Oh, you think you can only eat via dialogue? Yeah, there's the spear as well. I'm ready. Oh! Gale can absorb this item's magic, destroying it. There it is. So I, I don't even have to slide it over to him. This rapier's not... So I'm actually thinking maybe purchased magic items don't work for him. Because I bought this rapier, I found the spear. Or it's stuff with like an extra special thing because the spear isn't just as plus one. It's got a special trait of death's promise. That might be the case. Anyway, what we're going to do here, I got to go pee and I'm going to refill my water bottle at the same time. I encourage everyone to get up, move your legs a little bit, possibly hydrate. And we'll be back in just a minute with some more Baldur's Gate. Let me out, you bunch of softies. You're gonna be sorry, every last one of you. Oh, you teeths are all boring. Even your cages are boring. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs! Let me out, you bunch of softies! You're gonna be sorry, every last one of ya! Oh, you teeths are all boring! 
Even your cages are boring. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs. Hello. You think the cages are boring, huh? Yeah, I know. I, l I left you with uh, an NPC on a conversation loop. So I don't know if we have to feed him now or what's the situation. Some people say maybe it's at camp only. I'm not going to feed him an item right yet. We'll see what happens. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Why aren't you friendly? Hey! Did I have Shadowheart selected? Well, you know what? Maybe that'll work out, because Shadowheart is a cleric. The Absolute, that's your god. I don't know them. Goddess. We're burning her. Sorry, I didn't mean to assume. The face of the world we are. The absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. Uh, Foot, uh, foot seems to be doing better. Uh, it feels better. Um, yeah, still running through the, the antibiotic, the third course of antibiotics. Um, but uh, it's it's better. It's not fixed, but it's better. Stupid goddamn trees attacking my foot. What's up with that? How my interest? You have any holy literature on you? Don't don't, don't encourage them. An all-powerful you see, when I'm thinking of Shadowheart, especially like OGEA, Shadowheart, I'm like, an all-powerful goddess that can't get you out of a cage. Maybe she sent you to help me. And you will. If you wanna save your skin. And if the teeth stick a few arrows in us on the way out of here, don't worry. Priestess Gut will patch us up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Goblin Could probably dealer, huh? stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty booyog. Think she can kill a brainworm? Booyog. The goblin word for magic. Primitive to a fault, but not entirely without merit. Um... Yeah, one up star. Uh, if I can hit this button, we can we can vote on conversation choices, which we do from time to time. Well, I'll certainly like to meet her. Nice story. Buy for a copper in a ca tavern, maybe. You know, I'm gonna go. I'd certainly like to meet her. No, I don't know if this is necessarily serious when Shadowheart is saying it, but at the same time, get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal. If nothing else, finding out where the Goblin Camp of Raiders is located might be valuable. I don't think we're going to make a deal to break this person out, though. I don't think that's what we're here for. I think we're going to say, in this situation, option two. You already told me what I need to know. I'll find the priestess myself. <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. I don't believe you. What do we think? Let's do a vote. I'm thinking maybe we just leave without answering, but I'm also think we might just say not a chance. You can rot in that cage. Well, again, we're speaking as Shadow Hurt here, right? Um, Del would probably feel bad saying that, so he'd probably just leave. Shadow Hurt might do something a little different. I don't think we say deal in this case. I, I mean, I saved you from being yeah similarly executed while you're in a cage, but that doesn't mean I think you should be released, right? Looks like the leave has it by a little bit. So we're just going to go ahead and Brexit the situation. You're going to be sorry. Every last one of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll all be sorry. That door is locked. It doesn't seem to have anything interesting in there. Although. The gods are watching me. What if there's something hidden in there? Oh. Evidence chest, equipment chest. Oh, you teeths are all boring. Even your cages are boring. 
Now, I know that if you go around stealing things, you can get arrested. Maybe that's where you end up. All right, we're going to read A is for Azuth and the other gods, volume six. Ill martyr hears the martyr's cries, takes in the ill and the oppressed. When one to help the others dies, then the, by ill martyr they are blessed. Jurgle, or so it's often said, once gave away his bony throne. For Kalemvor he tracks the dead, makes sure that dead souls do not roam. Kalemvor, lord of the dead, will take your hand when death arrives, makes sure souls are correctly led to all their proper afterlives. Torch too. I mean, maybe we'll pick it up. I don't know. Another backpack I'm betting is empty. Oh, no. And it's not stealing for us to take this glass chalice. We magically somehow know. And also Baldur's Gate. I don't know if we read this one. No. Preface. Centuries ago, a young man sailed from the village of Grey Harbor. Where he went, what he saw, and the deeds he accomplished are simple legends today. But the wealth he returned with years later is a hard fact. Balderon made Grey Harbor rich. His gold built the docks, funded businesses, and raised strong walls to protect it all. One of the gates into this flourishing city was named in his honor, but so great was the wealth that flowed through it that the name of the gate became more famous than the village that started it all. The name Grey Harbor has been relegated to dusty history books and ancient maps, but Baldur's Gate, that name is on the lips of every traveler in Faerun. Ah, potato! Excellent, we can use it as an attack. Apparently we're not allowed in here. All right. Well, I'm not gonna break in. Oh, oh, there we go. Hold on, it's volume one. Amanatar, the sun's bright light, shines a truth into man's laws. Speak his name to stop a fight, then invoke the legal clause. Beware, dread Adam Deus. Both his word and promise sweet, more able to betray us than the devils at his feet. Oril is merciless and cold, the winter's icy breath. Spare her a little food and gold, so you won't freeze to death. Hey, cool. pay attention, there's a new subscriber. 80! Hey, thanks for the sub. Alright, let's talk to Gux. Step, parry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. Also, you shouldn't announce your moves. Interesting technique, having some trouble. You better surrender that target's far better fighter. No, let's go with option one. Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood. And the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Try hitting the target. Good advice. Get good. Uh, we can do an athletics check, although we have a minus one on it. Demonstrate a swing, show him the fluidity of the movement he lacks. We can do an insight check, which, ow, we still have the uh, the owl's wisdom for um, uh, advantage. No wonder you're struggling. You have no balance. Space your feet further apart. I'm wondering about more of these detect thoughts, but yeah, I think it is going to make use of more of our potions and stuff. So we'll save it something important. Plus, it's intrusive and rude. And, you know, if we're playing tabletop D&D, &D, then players treat insights as if they had freaking mind reading powers anyway. So, you know. I do have, we do have to double check. And I think I'm gonna change the dice again next time. I might have wanted to do it this time. I'm not sold on the dragon one. I don't, I don't think it appeals. It's too orange. Critical success. I'll, I'll try and brace them better. Um, like so. Step. Brace, parry, swing. Yes. You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Uh, okay. One last thing. Don't shut your moves like that. Ha <laughs> ha. Spoils the surprise to your foe. Keep training. You'll make short work of any goblin. Yeah, I know. I'm going to say that. That's funny. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Not too much. You have sharp teeth. I'll keep training. In time, you'll make short work of any goblins. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. You're not wrong. The dice have been rolling well. Maybe we should just wait until we have a bad roll and then change them. We'll get to the city soon. I am not okay, confirmed. Eagle Splendor is still running. So I have advantage on charisma and wisdom checks right now, although I cannot use guidance currently. So that's interesting, because I thought about um, swapping out either my own or 
uh, Shadow Hearts Guidance Cantrip if we get a chance to, to do a swap, because, well, why would I want both? But now it matters because it, it'll break the concentration from one to the other, yeah? Yeah. So it's actually nice to have the the flexibility. Who dis? Ashrak! The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. Oh, wow. <laughs> Will. tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Tech thoughts will last until you long rest. Oh. Oh. Is it a potion that I've got? Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? True. Or I could filter for. Maybe it is a scroll. Animal speaking. Or maybe someone else is holding on to it. Scroll of deck thoughts right there. It is a concentration ability. I hate when it doesn't say the duration. Like a lot of them will specify for a long rest, but it doesn't specify duration, which might mean it goes until a long rest, or maybe it means ten turns. But yeah, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use that, especially since it would override these abilities. It's still a concentration effect. Unless can I have Gale cast it from the scroll onto me? And uh, Gale could maybe learn it too. Hold on, that's a good point. I'd die if I met Leroic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell. Right, maybe I'll throw all the scrolls that way. Burn them. Salutations. Yeah, we could learn the spell. Add it to his memorizations? That would be awfully handy. Yeah, game's tooltips are really inconsistent, or rather consistently incomplete, yeah. Have you learned that spell? Um, that's the wrong button. Okay, Gail, I'm not gonna have you memorize shield anymore. Oh, Detect Thoughts is level two. Quite a bit pricier, but I think I'll still do that. And then... Each and every one of you. Wait, hold on. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. This this will just mean that he'll have the detect Stand thoughts buff. Face would frighten a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. Ritual? Oh wow! It doesn't even use a spell slot. But yeah, I don't cast it on someone. I'm just gonna click, and it's gonna run on him, which is only gonna help if Gale's doing the conversation. That is interesting to consider. But yeah, ritual means he can he can cast it over and over for free. I'm gonna get uh, Gale some mage armor running finally, since I keep forgetting. Looking ahead. It might have been worth just holding onto the scroll for Dell, but now nah, I think we're fine. All right, let's talk to. Uh, is there another book here? The Illustrated Adventures of Baldrun. No, seems simple enough. This book is packed with full. Packed full of tales of adventure. The monsters are ferocious, the men are muscled, and the women are buxom, and the clothing is easily torn. Something is cleft in twain on every other page, although you do find a passage that's a little less bloody. The woman's eyes were dusky, filled with mystery and promise. Aldrin was intrigued. Anything, he asked. Anything, she said. Just name it, and it can be yours. And what do you want in return? Oh, just a small thing, she smiled. Aldrin laughed. Nothing about him was small. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I want your soul, Baldrin, she sighed. Give me your spirit, and whatever you desire shall be yours. Baldrin considered this for a moment. Very well, I want a turnip. She hesitated. Your soul in exchange for a turnip? A nice turnip, nodded Baldrin. Very well. Dark smoke swirled around the woman whose skin was turning red. Then you shall... The next couple of pages have been torn out. When the story resumes, the woman, now fully revealed as devil, is kneeling at Baldrin's feet. Curse you, Baldrin! I'm bound to you, yours to call upon when you need me, and your soul is your own once more. Let that be a lesson to you, laughed Baldrin. Never underestimate the power of a turnip. I'll have to burn them. What? I mean, it's no lusty Argonian maid, but uh, I guess, you know, sure. All right, let's talk to Will. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. 
Again. Something about the fact that everyone like speaks so highly of this guy, you know, that he's like so impressive and all these things really gives me the, um, I can't remember his name, but the Paladin from the Baldur's Gate movie kind of vibe. You know, it was like, oh, everyone knows him, right? Well, everyone except the, the one main character, he failed his, uh, his knowledge check. enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do Like the Blade of Avernus or whatever, right? Everyone knows this guy. Um, hey there, can I have a word? Wealth is hopeless to waste your time. Good advice, child. Did you want to listen? Actually, yeah. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of a... Yeah, the DMPC from Honor Among Thieves, exactly. A diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Especially the way that he gets introduced during the goblin fight, right? Like, obviously, he's got a very different personality, but he, like, leaps down from the hilltop and starts skewering goblins and just destroying everyone right away. It just it just has that same sort of vibe of, yeah, a DMPC kind of thing going on here, right? Uh, yes, and we both carry parasites. Another escapee. Thank the gods. I need all the friends I can get. Who is that woman? The one in your thoughts. You know what? We're not going to pry right now. We just met him. But yes, we both carry parasites. Uh, 5e does have alignments, but there's no there's no alignment system in Baldur's Gate 3. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. Mm -hmm. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Devils and demons hate each other in this setting. I mean, they want to like, they kind of want to kill all life, right? But the most important thing is that they kill the the sort of other side. Uh, devils are lawful evil and demons are chaotic evil in the old school alliance system. Who is she? Hunting in the hell is dangerous territory. Converted from devils, I see. You should consider better company. Devil's advocate. Do you think she'll bring the blood war to Faerun? I think the blood war is that, that war between those two, yeah. That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the mind flesh. Isn't that another companion? The damned elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Huh. I mean, for now, that makes sense that we might say something like this. Let's join forces. It'll help you cast the devil back in the hells. I mean, although specifically, I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Good luck with devil problem. Seems your work is cut out for you. I mean, I'm going to say number two right here. Looking to cure this infection. Suggest we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I mean, I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Didn't think I'd like Will, but his voice actor is great. Comes, call for um, the blade. I won't be long to answer. Uh, they changed the voice actor too from early access to this. They, I think, they want to go uh, like a different, tell a different story and go with a different vibe with Will. Um, and I think at the same time they got a new voice actor. Yeah. Um, hmm. Well, I guess right now we have no choice. We'll say go to the camp. We might include Will in our party. I mean, we might we might replace Gale with them. Either way, what we're looking at is like a ranged magic blaster type person. A splendid plan. And I like his personality a lot more. Well oh, apparently, Gale likes including him. Cool. That's good. <clears throat> One more time. Not inconceivable. Edwin was hunting down here in BG1. Both were companions. That's a great point. 
All right. I don't think I feel the need to talk to the kids. I don't know. Die if I met Leroic and reeking of see what they have to say. This is boring. We should train against real goblins. I don't think that's called training at that point. I think that's fighting. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Isn't that the kid that stole the ammo? No, it looks very similar. The curly hair and stuff like that, but the other one's name was like Milo or something. Oh, uh, right. Uh, go for the heart. No, go for the eyes, Boo. Go for the eyes. Rawr! Hang on, we gotta loop back around here a bit. So this is where we came in through here. This is where we did the first merchandising. We gotta come over here because of some coos. Back to the coos. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. All right. Speak with animals is running. Excellent. Let's talk to the hungry ox. Be gone. I am hungry. Oh, okay. Let's talk to the board ox. Another one. What are you under there then? Ant. Or rocks. Hmm. What are you talking about? Maybe I'm an ox too. The keepers of this place. They change their form to fit their need. They become birds to hunt on the wing. Bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay. And I cannot even eat it because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Loot? Loot, you say? I mean, I want to say this, but we got a druid option, so we got to go with it. Maybe you could learn to change as we druids do. Yes. Yes. I would change into a two legs like you. But how? Meditation, a lot of it. Surely you could pick a better form than mine. You'll never be like me. Surely you could pick a better form than mine. It is not the form. It is the freedom. Yeah. Your kind walk free. And other beasts carry your burdens. True. Fair. To live like you. I could learn to be ugly. Oh, ho, ho, burn. Hang on. Oh, do I still have to quiz you about the shiny stuff? I have no more to say. Seriously? Never get if I don't f do the follow up on the. Oh, okay, we got a perception check, so it's fine. I'm like, there's a haystack we can loot here. Agate and gold. Cool. I think we can just sell the pouch. I think what you can do, one of the things you can do with pouches is you can put them on your uh, toolbar. And then you put items in there, and then it's very easy to just access it on the fly. So, I mean, we could consider keeping the pouch then. All right, we got one more to talk to. The strange oxen. Fox's gaze is following me. Ah, you're addressing me? A humble ox. How quaint. Hmm, Arcana. Oh, I'm not very good at Arcana. Something strange about this ox. What is it? Let's try. It wouldn't surprise me if I ended up with the blue dice. We're just going to go to Lithid Purple for now. I, I don't want to break concentration on any of the spells I've got going on. So we're going to try the roll as is. See how good these purple dice are. Oh, just barely because we get the minus one. Yeah, we can put all our potions in the pouch and then just use that with one toolbar slot. Just sound handy. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. You're more than meets the eye. Brum, 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 brum. Sorry, that was my attempt at making the transformer sound. Care to explain? Oh, no. You are incapable. I, I, I know you are, but what am I? Persuasion. Come on, old chap. I'm a devil for gossip. Intimidation. Out with a cow. You're going to regret it. Or deception. Fine. I heard the tieflings are going to butcher one of you for food, so your secret will die with you. Well, let's go then. Come on, old chap. I'm a devil for gossip. Another roll with the purple.
I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this, move. <laughs> Nothing here for Funny. you. So, yeah, I assume this is a druid who doesn't want to stay in here and he just wants to use this as a way to escape. One more time. Move. <laughs> Move. <laughs> ah. Oh, fantastic. All right, I love it. Okay. This is the way down into the actual druid pit. We've been down here. There's a big stone slab over here, but we'll get to that, I think, later. Cast a spell magic. Oh, level the spell magic level three spell. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Turn around and see what he's looking at. You see nothing out of the ordinary. Am I getting my pocket pick? Turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Let's search the rocks for an opening. Oh, all right. We're switching to the blue dice. Purple, you have failed me for the last time. You failed me for the first time, but it's also the last time. I do have inspiration. I don't know if it's worth it. We've the, where where this kid has gone. We can we can get to another way. I, I if I'm recalling correctly. You look the rocks over, but find no sign of a way through. A trap disarm kit and a lockbox. Oh yeah, I still can't use this because it'll break the uh, the focus. But we got a plus one from the gloves of power, which is great. Show me again. Not now. We're working. Remember. Oh yeah, crushed it. It was a hard DC. Actually, a fifteen is really like that's not easy. Wretched thing. Pull yourself together. For a whole two gold. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Hey, Talkstar. Thanks. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. All right. <laughs> I was like, whoop. Go on. Take this ring. <gasps> I it's claim to drop. I think you can sell box and chest too. Oh, you. We can pick up a lot of that stuff into our inventory. All right. Fine. I'll take the ring. Call it. Heads or tails? Heads. Pocket the ring. Heads it is. <gasps> my gosh. That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap too. Interested? Uh, we can start a vote here. Option one, hold on. One coin toss doesn't prove anything. Two, no thanks. Gonna see your other wares. Three, thanks to the free ring. Four, return the ring and leave. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. We got some people in uh, chat who like are not convinced by a single coin toss. Hold on, one coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Well, let's call tails this time. Tails. My God, it's uncanny. All right. Happy. Indeed, you got a free wing. I'm not stealing from the kids, although I think they're about to steal from me. Not yet. Flip the coin again. Oh. Yeah. Really? I mean, fine. Heads or tails? Tails again. Tails. There. Happy? No, flip it again. Mister, come on. Okay. I don't think I've ever gone through this so much. This is great. Heads. 
Heads it is. There. Happy? No, again. Fine. Heads or tails? <laughs> Heads it is. There. Happy? Are we in a loop or is it actually going to change, Heads I wonder? Or tails? Oh, he's saying something slightly different. Heads it is. There. Happy? You're killing me here, mister. You really are. Just take the ring, huh? <laughs> Free sample. Now, you want to take a look at the other <laughs> stuff I got? Or maybe you just want to go? Yeah, look, look. show me what you got. One sec. <clears throat> oh. That's what I got. I don't know what I just succeeded on on my perception check there. He's got some dyes. Nothing. A pig's head. Huh. Interesting. Well, metallic gloves give us a bonus to strength saving throws. Well, may as well throw those on. I don't think we have anything we're actually looking to trade with. I don't know if the potions are used in crafting, but we find tons of them. Nothing cool. You suddenly feel something is. moving against your back yeah. and turn. Oh, you're in trouble now. Yeah, caught him pickpocketing. Relax, I won't get angry. You didn't even manage to get anything from me. Get out of my sight. Insight. Observe her silently. Maybe these are just crocodile tears. Ignore her theatrics and grab her. Well, let's do an insight check. We're going to switch to the Behir blue. Oh, I do like the blue. Oh, l really low DC. You notice she's trembling. The tears streaming Aww. down her cheeks are indeed real. Lunge at her. Real tears or not, she tried to rob you. Now, relax, relax. I won't get angry. You didn't even manage to get anything from me. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Oh. oh. We know that there's another kid who, like, stole from us. Over here. So we may, we may go and check that out down there in a second here. All right, Mathis, uh, hey, what's all this about? You trade or? Your partner's a thief. Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. <laughs> Maybe that's what the perception. Maybe we noticed a little hand sign of like, okay, go ahead, go now. Hmm. <laughs> Make it right. Give me a percentage of your take. You could at least pretend to be sorry. I want an apo apology from her. Didn't uh, didn't they actually apologize? Didn't they actually say sorry? I'm gonna go with two. So you could at least pretend to be sorry. I am sorry. Sorry, we're still talking about this. Whoa, what a sassy so, kid. You caught her. Good for you. You aren't a chump like everyone else around her. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chump. Oh, sorry to Mattis. Think you could stand back a ways, pal? I'm fishing for chumps here. All right. <clears throat> Oh. Shouldn't we be getting a contextual thing that says we're too big to go through here or something? I mean, can't use this right now. Because I think this is the thing where you can go through if you're, like, a small species, or you could shapeshift. But it's weird that it doesn't tell you, hey, you're too big to get through. Right? I'm sure it used to. I know you can become a cat and do it, but I was looking for the prompt. Oh no, I still can't use this right now. Is it just broken? So some, something is wrong here. Ungroup? Nope. I do have a shrink person. 
but you shouldn't need it. You should be able to get through in cat form. I'm definitely ungrouped. You can see the group's not following me. Hmm. No, I think something's broken. I'm wondering about doing a save and reload here. Because I failed the check over here. Now I'm worried I won't be able to get into the grove at all. Maybe I should have reloaded from another quick save or auto save here. But I'm just going to save and reload and see what happens. I won't change for the way to get access. Not say things works as it should. But, and maybe something has changed since like the very early access when I was trying it. Yeah, that is that does seem a little odd to me, but sure. Yeah, great cat animation. All right. So we did uh, burn a, a wild chip charge, unfortunately, but it's not a big deal. Because, yeah, because there was the one over here, um, but I think we failed some sort of check. The, we failed our investigation check to find it. Maybe that's the one you can get into really small. Oh, they, they blocked the path on the other side. But again, it should say something like that when you click on it. It's like, there's nothing here. It's blocked from the other side. It does seem a little odd that the message is just you can't use that right now. Oh, we'll get back Please, to it. Let's through. It's let my oh. daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out. Ooh, you can turn into a bear. Ooh, like that's so special. <clears throat> All right, what's the deal? What's happening? Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. That's it? Okay. I was really expecting more. These things over. We could help each other, fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. I mean, you don't have to use slurs. Come on. You want. We're not leaving till it's safe. Time for a bar, a bar fight. Brown bar versus polar bar. Nice. Yeah. Nice, Demon Deck. Yes, I see. Um. Mm. Yeah, go roar yourself. Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, get back. Or for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Why? What's so special down here? I'm a druid, same as yourself. Allow me to pass and pay my respects, please. N ignore them and proceed. I mean, honestly, like, here, I kind of want to, like... kind of want to go with one of these routes rather than the druid side. Like, want to save that for afterwards. Carrots is definitely three. A couple of votes for four. A little curious as to see what happens if we just like, just like, no, you know, piss off. I'm getting through here. Try and stop me. Why? What's so special down here? Hmm. I love to see the druids get angry at you for wearing metal gloves. <laughs> if we do this, I, it might just start a fight. Yeah, I don't want to just start a fight. All right, listen, I'm a druid. Let me pass. Druid or not, you're still an outsider to this place. Entry is forbidden. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Oh, Go shit. ahead. All right. Yeah, we got a scribble note over here. You can quick save during conversations. Oh, wow. Okay. That's awesome. See. Keep away from Tuffet. She's lazy enough as is. You there. Hello. Oh, if it isn't Volothomp Gadarn. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? 
A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Um, fine. Ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Why don't you want their duck Size, this guy? nature, you talk to everyone. qualities. You search your mind, successfully Ooh. recalling various details of goblin behavior. History check on a minus one. Common variety of goblins, led by a lasher and flanked by booyogs. Just true. Goblin, same as the other, lowly and vile. Give an exact description. Goblins, hardly. They were shapeshifted divas. I mean, a knowing Volo, he would love this kind of vibe. What are we like, though? <clears throat> you know what? Let's put it to a vote. All right. It should pop up on your screen in a second here to vote for which option we give to Volo here. Mm -hmm. A couple of people typing three, but yeah, once the pop up shows up, you'll be able to presumably click and vote. Being extra laggy today. It was really quick and responsive yesterday, it feels like. If you know it, why not be exact? Okay, lots of vote for three. Give an exact description. All right. Goblins were of a rare gem colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And um, the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? I think at this point we get that like, oh, okay, he's just, he wants to make stuff up. Let's, let's add, uh, let's add some flavor. Oh, it's brass, no doubt about it. Witness <laughs> mistook obvious silver dragon for brass. <laughs> Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? I mean, that does actually seem to be something. Like, yeah, they called out the name like a war cry. Yeah. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. Yes, Saza. They've abandoned their name. god Maglaviet in favor of someone called the absolute. The scandal. Oh. Goblet superstition, not worth the ink and parchment. Yeah, let's just hold our tongue here. Never you mind. Let him talk. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Seems like a terrible idea. Careful, goblins aren't known for the mercy. Wait, about our conversation earlier. Why the dragon? Actually, yeah. Why? Or what brought you the wilds? No, I want to. Why, why the dragon? I mean, come on. Let's be real here. My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. By Sylvanas, the tree father, our what turmoil is calmed. My Ursine friend. Alas, Primer on mystical, mythical or mythical? Mythical beasts. Each chapter of this book describes the cultural origins of a different mythological beast. Chapter 5, Miniature Giant Space Hamster. Very little is known about this particular cryptid, though stories say they tend to choose well-muscled human males as their steeds when they deign to visit this plane. According to legends, this creature retains a wellspring of indescribable power known only to itself, though it provides its steed with perhaps mystical, perhaps mundane courage. Unsubstantiated rumors claim the creature has a taste for human eyes. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Rawr! We got some lootables here. Don't mind if I do. You don't need that for your ritual, right? Excellent. Good stuff. Ah, my grizzled friend. Oh, what can you tell me about this place? So we're going to want to go through that door in a sec. Well, let's keep looking around outside here for a sec. Is Tusk just running away from me? Hello, Tusk. <sighs> I thought you were healthy. The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate. Horny pig. All right. Hello, Apicusis. Speak. Woof. 
Oh, were you talking to a bird? I think I may have interrupted her. She was just talking to Tusk, but... Yeah, wait, what were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Fair, private conversation. I don't know. Come on, surely fellow druid is entitled to him. See, all this, like, every one of these druid options does feel so entitled. Intimidation? No. Do the other drills know? Because tell them. Persuasion. I help defend the grove. I'm not your enemy. See, I'd much rather this than the druid one. You know? Yeah, I don't like this entitled stuff. Yeah, th you're right. These druids are entitled, but I don't want to be that way. Plus, you know, I like rolling dice. Nice. Crushed it. I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. Ah. All follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees. Maybe it's good we didn't take the druid route. Huh. Hmm. They're afraid to offer a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we'll be safe. And she's wrong. Sounds like she has to be stopped. I mean, it, it seems... I mean... It's true, she does need to be stopped, but at the same time, seems like a rather sudden thing to do right away. But, you know, you still haven't told me what you were doing with that bird. It searches for news of Master Hulsen. Only he can set this right. Oh, yeah. If he is gone, well, pray that he is not. In the ritual, protect the drove. You're not helping others prepare it. I hear a ritual can protect the drove. Or, I mean... I think it's got issues, but let's ask some questions here. I would prefer not to, but if Master Helsin does not return, Korga will give the order, and my voice will not matter. Where's where's the bird you're talking to? Maybe she just had a bird in her hand. I know there's a bird inside. Hmm. Oh, I'm not allowed to read this one. Look at that. I can read this. A message scratched out in a worried hand. Received message from Hag via Sirith, one of Nettie's birds. We buried Sirith a 10 day ago. Not sure how Hag found him. Message. Buried Sirith, but a message via Sirith. Oh. Message itself was threat, but also invitation. She wants to meet. Have her replied, buried Sirith again beneath a heavier stone. So, this bird got resurrected by the hag, I guess. Extract, rule of three. Oh, it's true, talking to the bird in the hand is surely more valuable than talking to some bird in the bush. Oh, god damn it, demonette. You're right, we shouldn't encourage you. What's the button that shows item names? Oh, uh, alt. Just hold down alt and it pops open things. It doesn't show everything, but it does help a lot. A long-winded introduction explains that hack... Haskin Ze Zesilafin's notes, published as is from their work journal, have helped bring alchemy to the masses. It starts with a full history on the Dragonborn, who had been descaled as a teenager and started their alchemical research in hopes of restoring their hide. As the pages turn, it continues to wax poetic about how Zesilafin put aside their own research to help the common people. Much more interesting, though, are Zesilafin's actual research notes. I have decided I shall make all my notes, both those written and those still to come, available to those who would wish to study. Oh, so like Creative Commons attribution, right? You reading this text now is probably one such person. As enticing as potion making is, we shall first start with the most basic alchemical rule, the rule of three. Most ingredients can be found throughout Faerun. However, they need to be refined to be of any use in alchemy. Doing so is simple. Just combine three of the same ingredients and you will obtain an extract, which can be used to brew potions, poisons, oils, and elixirs. So remember, three of the same ingredients make an extract. Or in rhyme form, if you'd like. When in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Thrice the same ingredient forms an excellent, an extract excellent. Sorry, I, I kind of botched that last line. But it is true. We want to do extracts. We need triplicates of things. <laughs> By Sylvanas, the forest father, we are granted balance. You don't mind if I take some of these herbs, do you? Thanks. Appreciate it. 
Excellent. Uh huh. And a little bit more. Cheers. Thanks. Oh, wicker basket that is not theft. With some rags. Oh, it'll sell for a couple of bucks. Gold and a shiny key, but it would be stealing. Let's talk to Topaz. Shh, I'm concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? Hmm, it's slightly off. Push it a bit to the right. Stop fussing, it looks fine. Deception, I'd leave it out, it's too dull. Intimidation, kick at the bird trying to scare it away. No, 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 no. Um, you know, a, li a little bit more to the right. Yep. Yes. Yes, you're right. Oh, he's a Scottish bird. That, that, that's it? But can I have the key? Yes. Yes. This is perfect. I'm not going to scare the bird away. Well, I guess the key's just not for us. Dwarf bird? <laughs> Dwarves are always Scottish, aren't they? Except in DNAX D&D campaign, where they're Italian. Nice change. I don't remember, uh, Demon Act, in your ca campaign, the world that we play in. Do you use a Scottish accent for anything? The elves are German. Oh. Oh, oh there's Tuffet. I'm Oh, it's perfect now. Why would he give you the key? You're right. Ah. Uh, throw fish. Could, could you move a little bit? I need to use the elevator. <sighs> okay. Thanks, buddy. Check these vases. <laughs> and flop. So now we can use this elevator to get up and down this area a little bit. Ooh, there's a squirrel over there. Also, we want to go up there. I'm going to do this lest I forget, and then we're going to go into the druid cave. Is my party going to teleport onto this? Nope. We're going to leave Shadowheart behind. Do I? I do have... Okay, I do have animal friendship available. That is an adorable squirrel. Hello. It's a lot of staring Get right out. now. The squirrel lunges at your foot and bites. Jesus! It. What was that for? Calm down, I'm a friend. Kicker. What was that for? You're trespassing. This is my territory. I mean, squirrels are very territorial, right? They will screech at things. Right, you win, I'm leaving. Back off, squirrel, I'll make you. There's plenty of room for both of us. I like these blue dice. Yeah, baby. Nat 18. It's going to get infected. I know, that's my first thought, too. Squirrels in your yard screech at cats all the time? Yeah. How about this? You can stay if you keep those ugly feet on the ground. Yeah, I'll I'm... even sweeten the pot. Found some weird smelling stuff on the ground. You can keep it, but these trees are mine. Follow the rules and I won't have to intervene. Meanwhile, the rest of the party is watching me go. <laughs> Reward. We convinced Timber to let us walk on their territory. Left us a small trinket to keep us away from the trees. You receive hyena ear, which is used to make potions of speed. Nifty. Now let's go climb a tree and just ruin this pact. Oh, there's a path here. Is that another way up here? Yeah, we gotta get our ass up there. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Yeah, so, nor if you walk up here, usually you can intercept the uh, assassin before they even damage Nadira. Me going around this way seems to have May it has triggered it way earlier and perhaps very badly. Hmm. Death is but a word away. Oh, right, and Shadowheart's still down there. 
Yeah, can I drop a heal quickly enough? Uh, oh, I don't have a heal memorized on um, on Dell. Although I could throw a healing potion. Oh, Shadow Hearts. Okay, Shadow Hearts not actually in combat. Hold on. Did I hit it twice? Is that not coming down? I'll have to try this later. Maybe it's frozen because of combat. Okay, hold on. We're gonna have to take a long walk around here. I've never learned to converse with your kind. Because what we're gonna do, actually, is we're gonna try to get her. Oh, that's interesting. My camera's locked too. I guess her because that's who I've got selected right now. You got the same result with the squirrel with only animal handling. Oh, it's really good at pantomiming. Oh, interesting. There are solutions beyond the spell there. Cool. It's a good thing she's still got Longstrider, although I don't know if Longstrider matters outside of combat. I think everyone basically moves at the same speed outside of combat. Let the elevator go down as soon as you end up on the top side. Yeah, I'm just assuming the elevator is stuck in... Um, in turn base mode. We're gonna have her take a very different angle here. And what we're gonna try to do actually, rather than drop the heal, we're just gonna see if we can nuke the hell out of this um, assassin here. So yeah, like a level two guiding boat. Doesn't add much more damage, but it does add some. Um, oh, I can't target the oh, path is interrupted. All right. I don't have to come around. Hopefully you can get up enough. Um, why don't you go into hide mode? Because it might prevent you from triggering combat. There you go. From hiding. Look at me! Quill use stealth! It's super effective! Okay, we got the guiding shot. Guiding bolt. Oh, at level two, is it the next two hits have advantage? So that's quite interesting. Come over here. Now, there's a good chance this isn't going to succeed. Let's try to shove you. Nice. And then we'll interpose ourselves. Doesn't the combat in this just feel satisfying? Right? Let's spill some blood. Let's spill some blood. Well, Rogue, if you use your cunning action to dash, can you get up here? Yeah. Perfect. Delicious. Easy peasy. Are you all right? You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. That's true, we had just been to hell. Yes. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. So... Here's the thing, this is a great way to get a free soul coin, which I've taken in, I think, every time I've gotten to this point in the past. But I don't think we're going to with Del here. Like, coin mistress, you lost me. You know, I've been to Avernus, but I'm no devil servant. Because otherwise, yeah. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? I told you, I've just been there. I got this is like a persuasion check to tell the truth, to convince her that we're being truthful. Yeah, we could still go for the coin, which I think the coins are like there. I've only ever found two, one from her and one other one that we could loot. So I don't know. We haven't used them for anything. I don't know how common they are later on, but it's like I want it. But no, not on not on this character. Oh, we have situational advantage over here. I mean, we would have advantage anyway because of Eagle Splendor. But because we saved her life, plus it's low DC. Yeah, it, 
Yeah, it's one of those truths is stranger than fiction. But, I mean, it's fiction in the context of reality. Well, that's but... quite the story. Yeah. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here. Oh, I get the coin anyway. Take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. Well, I really appreciate it. Coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the nine hells as very valuable currency. Groovy. Now we can look through the telescope, but I don't think it really does anything. You peer through the telescope. You need a little preview of some stuff. Squint mode engaged. Uh, focus on the telescope, distant object. Try to get a clear view. Yeah, I like these blue dice. You can't take the narrator seriously after hearing the outtakes. Yeah, maybe I won't check the outtakes until I'm done the whole game. <laughs> oh my god, that is a dragon! What? Well, maybe not. We only caught the tail end of it, literally. A dragon circling like a bird of prey. Hunting. Now we can move the telescope left and right, but it just like it's like the roof of a building and something else that's like not terribly relevant. So I'm not way. too. Uh, let's come over here, actually. Let's see if we can get everyone on the elevator this time. Now we are going to go. It's truly a brass dragon, right? Uh, we are going to go take a short break here because I got to pee. Drinking lots of water, as instructed by uh, by my, uh, the the antibiotics I'm on. Apparently they're really bad for your kidneys, so they're like, no, no, you gotta like guzzle, guzzle some water. Oh, the elevator did go down probably after we left combat mode. All right, looks like everyone is aboard, although I'm not entirely convinced that Shadowheart is fully on. I've known a few warlocks Whoops. in my time. Talented, of course. The stream is sponsored by the letter P. To listen to the devils on their shoulders. I'm gonna go. You're back. With the territory, unfortunately. Oh, I needed that. Whew. Boy. 
All right. I don't know how to spell relief, but I know it starts with the letter P. Um, I know a few warlocks. I'm a time talented, of course, though sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on the shoulder. It comes with the territory. Oh. I think I have a magical artifact you'd be interested in. Was wondering that condition yours. Why does it require magic? Need to remain camp for a while rather than on the road with me. Um. Yeah, why does it require magic? Think of it as tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Oh, wait, can I swap characters? Is this to change who's leading the conversation? I think I remember that from before, but I completely forgot about it. Hmm. I'm I, I'm betting the thing with the magic item isn't that we're actually in a time limit. Or hopefully it's not, or hopefully we get more warning if he's about to pop or whatever. I'm expecting the magic item thing might just be to sort of advance his personal story or relationship. Switch to Gale so you can detect thoughts on him. There, that's a great idea. Your enterprising approach to my problem is most encouraging. But it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable. I do not yet need to consume an item. Ah! But keep it close by. It will not be too much Okay, longer. okay. That's good. Okay, that's that's what I want. So hopefully we'll be notified of like, okay, now's the time I need to eat something right now. My face protects me. No one stopped me yet. Swift as my feet. Because no matter what, I want to like feed him the items only, you know, at the last minute possible, assuming it's on a cooldown or something like that. Um, can I talk to these guys? I'll take that. I know you're ritualizing, but hey, Carrick. Hostess obeyant protegenos monenos. The ritual. Altered somehow. Mm. And just steal the idol of Sylvanas. Complexum tuum aptera ortum ad nostifera. Anything? No? No expedition? Exposition? I guess it's, they're all doing the same spell. Whoa, wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! Sylvanas' blessing has proficiency in nature and animal handling. That's quite interesting. While we're in this radius. Keep their confidence if you insist. Wooden statue Sylvanas, the Oak Father, God of Nature, and its impartial fairness. Those near the idols seem to better understand the natural world. All right, if I could steal that and keep it in my pocket, that would be kind of awesome. All right, let's go inside this area over here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to read these packs afterwards. There's clearly something going on over here. Of Sylvanus. She must pay the price. We will imprison the thief under guard of my serpent. When we cast out the rest, she may join them. Let the devil be an example. We will tolerate outlanders no longer. The grove will be made safe. The circle will be closed. Hmm. Look at all the, the rats. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A she threat. looks like an actress. I will imprison I the feel devil. there's someone who looks like her. And I will cast out every stranger. Thief? Poison? What's this girl's actual crime? Imprison her? She's just a child. Do nothing. One of your guards outside said you want to see me. Here I am. Druid option. To reject the helpless is to reject Sylvanas himself. 
<laughs> Maybe you should see what happens if you do nothing. Uh, I don't think we're doing nothing this time. Chainway gone bad? Maybe. So, I mean, I like one, but I think in this case, I like the idea of, of coming in with the, the druid speak, you know? Uh, what I can see here with this is, um, um, it's like one of those, what would be the, the iconic? Like, there's some real life sort of like religious sort of philosophy talk where people basically argue almost like by quoting select pieces of scriptures back and forth. Um, I'm thinking like maybe sort of like a, a rabbinical thing. You would see that maybe sometimes. She's a little Kate Blanchett. You're right. Rebecca Romjan. What does she look like? I don't know who that is. Um. Maybe? I don't know. Theological debates like logic, but without the logic. Oh, damn, demon heck. Like a biblical rap battle. Exactly. That's what we got going on here. That's what we're going to do. Reject the helpless is to reject Sylvanas himself. The tree father's words. Your circle taught well. You know, then, that Sylvanas spoke further. The parasite see? must be removed. That's what's happening. You seed to grow. Yet behold, the parasite lives. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. I mean, I think and I would think. Oh. Devil. Tila is restless. I probably would think that stealing the, the idol Come is a serious over. thing. We took back the idol. Surely. Do it. <laughs> Druid options. Nature check. I'm bad at a nature check. Although, I do get the plus one for Hedgehog Wanderer's armor, but that just comes out as a zero. Although, apparently, I will have advantage on this check because I'm a druid. All right. The girl is no threat. Jailing her disrupts nature's balance. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. A seat. There we go. Let's keep up the rap battling. A seed nobly sown renders the sweetest fruit. Be noble, set her free. I don't think that Kaga would actually like vibe with this, but I think that's what I want to say. Prepare to attack. Yeah, <laughs> we learned what this option does in our multiplayer playthrough. I'm going to go with this because this is the vibe I'm going to keep going with. Whether or not it's like the thing that I, Quill, necessarily thinks is the best route, I like it. A seed nobly sown renders the sweetest fruit. Be noble, set her free. Yeah, advantage druid, redundant advantage eagles splendor. Um, if I really want to make sure to maximize this, what I might want to do here is um, go ahead and drop my eagle splendor or the owl's wisdom for our guidance. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna replace. I'm gonna drop the Dolores's eagle splendor concentration to guidance myself. I want to keep the wisdom because I feel like there might be some wisdomy oriented things in here. We can always recast it. I think I still have some slots. But yeah, let's toss that in. I don't want to fail this. I mean, we had advantage so and, and decent pluses, so it was pretty unlikely that we failed. But no. Smash! Oh, I had inspiration. You're right. You know what? With inspiration, maybe I, sh I would have not bothered then to do this. I forget we have that. The words of the tree father. Is it represented Spoken somewhere? Plain. On the screen? It is as you say. Sif, sif, Tila to me. Oh, we got a parcel <laughs> tongue. Thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> Whoa. What? What? Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his what happened to Shadowheart? Lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that. Yeah, now. I don't remember this from really access. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. Did you about. stab yourself on your D20? It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Yeah, they. I think they changed a lot of Shadowheart's story as well from early access. Uh, I'm sure it's not going to... No, how badly does it hurt? Stood on a D4. Ooh. Ooh, that is some pain. That's worse than a Lego. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. 
Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. All right. I mean, we should get to know each other. Not now. We'll wait until camp and stuff like that. Oh, what do you have to say for yourself, Gail? That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Any a child display like that was monstrous. I'm glad we intervened. Forgiveness means nothing. She doesn't learn from her mistakes. Sounds like you have something to confess. Let's go with three. Ha! Then you don't. You're wholly without vice or sin or the occasional lapse in judgment. Now look at the teethy grin. You don't strike me as quite that boring. Oh, you're right, girl. Oh, you got in there, Oi. Ho, 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 ho. Uh. Ow. All right, we got thefty things. We could read those. Let's let's go back up. Uh, was that the first one here? Wild plaque. Okay. The forest rose with claw and tooth to tear the darkness from its roots. Druidic orders often fight dark forces, but you do not recognize the events depicted here. The mural depicts a purge, a sacred cleansing of the land on a scale you've never seen before. Yeah, so we have like some sort of bird, like some sort of raptor, wolf, badger, attacking, I'm guessing goblins and maybe their, their wargs? Huh. By claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oaks grove to wildlings sworn. You recognize the druids as elders of a circle. This place is a divine sanctuary. Check this log book. This log. This hefty book is labeled 1371 and stamped with an elegant stag against a dark green background. Six Utkar. I'm assuming this is a the Faerunian month, but I don't know which month. Sent two druids, some of the new recruits, up north. Village there has had two years of failed crops and are unlikely to survive in the next winter. Nine Utkar. Uktar. A group from Baldur's Gate arrived. They've set up camp on the edge of the forest. This will all be over. The ritual's almost finished. What if they tried to steal from us? Again? We've shown them once. We take Grove Law seriously. By letting that child escape without consequence. We might as well. well I think you put the fear of God into that child. I mean, yeah, without consequence. You, you've only traumatized her for life. I think she'll think twice before doing anything like that again. For good or for ill. Uh, set up camp. Two bears and a fox came by. Their territory has been burned out. Half the fox's cubs died. Hang this new group a visit tomorrow. Ooh. Ten Utgar. Visit did not go well. After telling me where to shove it, they said they'd cut down half the forest and burn out any wildlife that dared to stick around. Claimed they were going to farm the land and make a new city of their own. Time to get creative. 12. Uktar. Mudslide did the trick. Buried half their farming equipment and made the rest useless. They won't be back anytime soon. Got reports of a red wizard in the village south of here. Sending three rangers to investigate. If they catch even a whiff of a red cloak, I'm contacting the house of Sylvanus. We Any of this related to like to stuff we know from Baldur's Gate one or two? To kill a bunch of innocents. Hmm. I don't want to kill anyone, but I won't let this grove be harmed. Not again. Hello, Wrath. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Yeah, I don't think the snake was the actual issue. The Kaga seems dangerous. If I hadn't spoken up, what would have happened? Here's some sort of ritual. I'm, I'm just gonna do this, you know. Oh yeah, of course we can chat with the rats and the wolf. I hadn't spoken up. What would have happened? Like, you know, what kind of, what's the situation like over here? I need to know before I start, you know, if I'm gonna get involved. Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven Yeah, he's talking about Baga. Baga. 
Kaga seems happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? Looking for Nettie. How, yeah, how did Kaga take over the whole grove? She is first druid in Halcyn's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, none may gain sin. But more will die Ooh, if her ritual cut off. is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. Well, I would like to actually address that, but I guess I'm just going to say, if no one's looking for Halcyn, I could do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halcyn return home. Anything? No need to fret. I'll find him. I'd like a more solid offer than anything. Never mind. Not a... No, no. I'll, I'll, of course I'll help. Sylvanas's blessing upon you and my gratitude as well. Halcyn is an elf with the presence of a bear. Man after he my own heart. West with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Hey. Come, Silver. I was going to say, where's your wolf? Weren't you right there? Aw. Aw. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Stranger come to fix oh. me. What will you do? Hunt me. <laughs> grab my tail. Shout until my head hurts. No, I want to give you scratches. No one's going to hurt you. Who's been pestering you? I'll teach them a lesson. Just wanted to give you my smell. I'll leave you be. No, relax. No one's here to hurt you. Stupid or a liar. Neither is needed here. Go. Silver's been hurt before. Oh. Everyone here needs therapy. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. Was someone else talking to you a second ago? There's someone pacing around? No? I don't know. Well, we got some books to read here. Hold on. Study of the Sword Coast. See what they that mural, they look like Dark Justicius. Hang on. Dark Justicius. Oh. Oh, no more. Okay, hold on. A scrap of a larger map fasted to the page with fragrant, fragrant sap. Someone has written, Tainted by curse, above the lands to the east, beyond the mountains on the road to Baldur's Gate. Okay. Ooh, I can't read that one. So something about these tablets here that were ridiculous. Work. We just let her run off. She's a child. There is someone here. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. Yet she failed. That's what matters. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Dude. These people All right, Union Plaque. In darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Druids harp and harpers? And wild. You recall stories of an alliance between druids and the harpers, but the details are vague. Um, am I not allowed to read this one? I'm going to read it. It's right there. You know? This will all be Wasn't it? over. Oops. Go ahead. I'm listening. No, I don't want to click on you. you tried to steal from us. It, it was read a second ago. We've shown them once. The towers. Oh, maybe it was still animating. The done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. You recognize the mark of the dark goddess Shar on the broken uh -huh. helmet. Boy, it's a good thing we don't have anyone here that worships Shar. Be real awkward. So many dead, sent to the Night Singer's embrace. Moonrise must be a reference to Shah's divine sister, Saluna. Let's see Saluna. Interesting. Oh, Gale is inspired from the sage stuff. All right, I think that's all the plaques. Oh, wicker chest that I can take from. It's probably empty. No, bone, mug. Okay, we'll leave that there. Herb! They did a number on Aww. you, didn't they? Does that hurt? Maybe I can help. I see you. Just give me a moment. She's got an interesting accent. Is there anything I can do to help? A moment. This medicament. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. 
Now, what was it you needed? Um, healing. Looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Um, so there's no way of good putting this. I have a tadpole in my head. More than tired, something crawled into my eye. Yes, right, and very tired. Nope, yep. No way, good way of putting this. I have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. You know of them? Can you help? What other kinds are there? It's not like frog hopped in my eye. Actually, never mind. No, you know them? Can you help? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. Okay, but first... Be quick. This way. Shadow heart? Oh, no! Never a dull oh, wait. I can change my spells. Hang on. I'm gonna drop, a. Uh... And drop Moonbeam and grab uh, Cure Wounds. Thank you. It's exhausted more than anything else. I think Lesser Restoration. Let's give it a try. Right, disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness. We'll give it a try. Nope, target is not blinded, bloodless, disease, paralyzed, or poisoned. Okay. Talk to the bird. Please. I'm resting. You know what? I'm very sorry to disturb you. Yep. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. The bird says nothing. Only the sound of its labored breath fills the silence. We have more books to read, though. Should mind my step. Head on in. Oral histories of Faerun, the Spell Plague. This book has comprised several chapters, one for each cited source. It claims to contain first-hand transcription of the oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. Chapter twenty-five: Cornelius and Tomelius Worthy Worthywort, halflings, encountered on the ro golden road south of Innerlith. I met the brothers, or rather, they found me in the lower pass through the Fireshear Mountains. They had encountered a trail of golden discs along the path and had resolved to gather and return them to whatever fool had more coin than common sense. It was to our mutual embarrassment then that I removed my cloak to reveal my patchwork yellow hide. It was molting season, I explained, and a traveler on the road had not the luxury to shed their scales in private, as would be proper. I suspect they knew too little of the dragonborn to be appropriately disgusted and instead invited me to sup with them. Over a roadside fire, I learned of the purpose behind their journey. Cornelius, Lurin, my lad, our ancestral home. It was lost during the spell plague. Weren't nothing lost, Con. It's not Nan's lucky gnashers, is it? It sank. Wasn't I there when the blue fire took it? Sure, what do you remember? You were knee-high to a gnome. I remember you trying, or crying. Maybe it was you that sank the place. Going back to finish the job? Watch that lip lest I fatten it. Only a fool speaks ill of his homeland. Their brows were bristling dangerously, and so I diverted hostilities by speaking of my own people's ancestral home, the blighted world of Abair, and the thousand-year tyranny of dragons we lived under. Abair, which world is that? Tyranny of dragons. I mean, that's not the Eberron stuff. Is this... There was a setting where you got to play as dragons. A beer is my favorite world. <laughs> there was, I can't remember the name of the setting. It was second ed, I'm pretty sure. And it was this whole rule set for playing as dragons. Hmm. It was fourth edition? Oh. And the thousand year tyranny dragons lived under until the blue fire of the spell plague brought us, it brought us to this world. So I know spell plague, I believe, was an in, in universe explanation for how magic changed from like third ed and earlier and 4th edition, because 4th edition changed a lot of rules, and they decided to canonically change the way the world come, and I think the spell plague was related to that. Right, uh, another potato? Maybe there's the twin planet of Toril. 
Oh. Oh. Okay. Hey, Nandy, sorry to keep you waiting. I had to read books. Oh, and is that how they explain the dragonborn coming to Faerun? in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Hmm, Drow and I have the same kind of parasite. Was hoping for less grave cure. Killed him and laid him on the table. Is everyone being captured on Mainflyer these days? I didn't think it was a common experience. I mean, that's true, right? How many people have we met with this? I, I'm going with four. Tyranny of the Dragons, 5e module for Tiamat. Okay. Council of the Worms box set. That sounds right. Yeah. We played it. A long time ago. God. So I played it... I mean, I think I played it in my teens. With that group. I mean, it must have been that group. So it must have, that must have been second ed. Council of the Worms box set. And so, 30 years ago? Is everyone being captured by the mind flares these days? Didn't think it was a common experience. Published 1994. So that, wait. Shit, that is 30 years ago. Well, 29 years ago. I'm like, oh, it was only in the 90s. So what, 90s was 10 years ago, right? Right, we can all agree the 90s is 10 years ago? Rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'm interested in the procedure, actually. Please, go ahead. We're all infected. Let's see what we can do. Uh, yeah, what's what's the plan? Will it help? I'm curious. Gotta ask these questions. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Well, there's a little bit of like Plus mental connection. You recognize the branch, and it's no druidic cure. Whoa. She's holding Kalimvor's kiss. Whoa. A briar from the Dale Lands, and a deadly poison. I know that, well, at least in EA, early access, she does offer us like some withering poison as a cure as an out if we need to. What's this? I came to you for help! I want to help you, but I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? This is one of those things. Someone earlier in the chat said, like, you know, don't don't lie to your doctor or whatever. And it's true, right? People always go into the doctor's office and they'll ask him things and they'll they'll fudge it. It's like, oh no, I eat really healthy, you know, oatmeal for breakfast, salad for lunch, um, oh, drink alcohol. I mean, occasionally, maybe I'll have one beer on a weekend, you know. People will lie to their doctors all the time, and like, okay, but you know lying doesn't like change your condition, right? <laughs> and what's the worst the doctor's gonna say? Listen, maybe you shouldn't get absolutely blitzed every night. Um, I can merge my mind with anyone who's infected. Fell from the sky from the ship. Something caught me, saved my life. That's not relevant. Intellect Devourer spoke to me. No, you know what? I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a mind flare ship, I was kidnapped and infected. Put the thorn down. No, no, we'll just keep going open. It's fine. A mind flare ship. But Master Halson was sure. What's this Look, sound? you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. I mean, yeah, probably. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance. She puts it in her back pocket, yourself. stabbing herself with it. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Any symptoms? Like, I have a slight itch. Oh my god, I gotta kill myself. More poison? I would have preferred a cure. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? I, you know, again, I think Delores is the honorable. So he'll say, I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. Party split. You know, 
I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe yeah, more. it's illithid 19. It's really I'm spreading. Thinking, studying, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. Army. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Well, I think of myself as slightly above normal, you know. Upper percentiles. I'm just saying, ah, when, okay. What do you mean should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though? It's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Yeah, so I don't remember if this dialogue was the same in Early Access or whatever, because um, I had gotten to this point in Early Access, but it was like a long time ago. Um, and I always thought we're not turning into mind flares because something has sort of gone wrong with the process or we're being protected, especially now in the character creator in the release version, you're, you're, you're setting up a guardian, right? So maybe there's this guardian, which is the reason we didn't like crush our heads when we fell out of the uh, mind flare ship. And maybe the guardian is why we're also not dead. Although does this include everyone else having the same, uh, uh, their own guardian or what's going on? But the dialogue here all of a sudden is making me think maybe these worm, the worms we have, weren't ever intended to turn us. They were intended to do some other purpose. But I think I'm personally, I'm still gonna go with the assumption that it's supposed to turn us. It just hasn't gotten that to that point, either because something in the process wasn't finished or there's something sort of protecting us otherwise. Yeah, it could be spy worms, right? It could be that, right? These agents, they're gonna, they, maybe they're already always planned to release us back into the wild and then they could just read information. There's a lot of different ways it could go. For now, I'm assuming, it's still trying to mind flare us. It's just being slowed down for some reason, but we'll see. Yeah, so you think there's only a matter of time? Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. Blade blast brainworms. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. You think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean, they won't kill someone carrying their parasite. You think it's if a you goblin can find parasite? Hansen and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned, and perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Which figures the goblins are all infected, like, and they're a part of that team. Yeah, it sounds like you're making a lot of assumptions that could kill me. The way I see it, you have two options. Halson or that wyvern poison. I mean, fair. I don't envy your choice, truly. But this is the hand fate's dealt you. All right, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything. There are only so many silent cards in the tadpole deck. I wish I could Amazing. But only those adventurers know what happened. They're object there. trepaning, yeah. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. Old Temple of Saluna. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why burn poison? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. Huh? Something in that vessel, take a closer look. The vase or the, the drow? Yeah, we're gonna take a look at that. Who said that though? Dream visitor? What? There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. What? Hang on a sec. I gotta read Halson's journal. Here goes nothing. 
extraordinary happenings. While meditating in the forest, Nettie and I were ambushed by a pack of goblins led by a drow. We had no choice but to defend ourselves. But that is not the extraordinary or rather disturbing part. On the drow's death, a parasitic creature emerged from the corpse and attempted escape. I managed to capture it and have the host cadaver here in my study. I've told no one of my fears. Nettie suspects, but knows better than to ask. I will investigate further before informing the others. Kaga will demand answers I don't have yet. I had better record any future further findings in a separate volume and keep them upon my person, lest prying eyes jump to the wrong conclusions. Note on the drow parasite. Anatomical sketches of both a drow and an elithid tadpole are accompanied by notes written in an urgent scribble. The parasite was nestled deep in the brain matter, elithid undoubtedly, yet the host seemed unaware while alive. No visible signs of ceremorphosis on the cadaver, most strange. Final note is a single underlined word, altered. Yeah, so I think, I guess, I guess my, my, my impression from early access may be wrong in that these mind worms were indeed not intended to do ceremorphosis. Um, even though we saw, we saw an example of it happening on the illithid ship. Like there was that one potted person that when we pushed the button, they turned into a mind flare. But Looks ours like is for something else. Our best bet for a cure. Another note here. My dear Nettie, I entrust you with the I circlet to open the library. Wear it always. Oh, that's what she's got on her head. You need to enter the vault, talk to Wrath. He has the rune, but won't give it to anyone. Speculation will get but be sure you have good reason to ask. Protect my research while I'm gone and take care of the animals. Don't give fish to Tuffet. She's getting lazy. Master Halson. Tuffet is the bear that was on the elevator. Mm-hmm. -hmm. I don't want the pipe. Mind Flare Parasite Specimen. Hanging suspended in murky slime, the living tadpole looks like some hideous cousin to the slug, only gorged and slick with remnant brain fluid. Looks like there's three of them in there. A wooden pipe, worn smooth with age and use, it still smells faintly of some exotic tobacco. Some wacky tobacco? Let's examine. Well. Let's loot. Oh, there's a letter. Okay. No witnesses. Track the druid, find whatever burrow he runs to, and report back to me. Remember, you are only a scout. Do not engage. Do not kill anyone. Simply observe and return. I shall decide what to do next. M. Rune of the bear, rune of the elk, rune of the eagle, and then a missing one. That's the rune that Wrath apparently has, I guess. Now, that's the path back to, yeah, where we came in. Oh, okay, I was going to say, there's a stone door that opened. I didn't realize the conversation had led us into the locked stone door area. So, I mean, this stuff is lootable. It's thieving. Probably there's no witnesses, but you know what? We don't, I don't think we do that. I really want to read these things, despite the fact that they're, you know what? Read. A long list of Albert sightings in the region, separated by date. The last entry, written a 10 day ago, says Cub. The word is underlined several times. Yeah. I know I remember that one. Hmm. What's that? What? What? What is what? What did I spot? Oh. Oh, right. That makes sense. This is the thing we can't open until we get the rune. In Ketherick, I see our failures made manifest. He did not fall, he was pushed. His grief was twisted by shadow, and still we do not act until his light was all but snuffed. What does it mean? Ah, oh, curse to put my hands on everything. Oh, why are you orange? Are you a recipe book? That's curious. A deep crease in the spine makes the booklet fall open to reveal one recipe in particular. Neat writing on the corners marks it as an antidote for all known potions. This is it. 
my recipe that made me decide to publish my notes. The story might not interest you, but I shall record it for posterity. Feel free to skip to the actual recipe. Oh my God, it's like a, a, an, a recipe you find on a website. First, I have to tell you my entire life story, uh, and then we'll have the recipe for how to boil pasta. I was sitting in the Alpsong, sipping my usual hot cocoa, the heat soothing the pain in my scaleless hands. A small child, human, so this is the dragonborn that was, that had lost all its scales, that wanted to read, or uh, was gotten to alchemy. Um, a small child, human, stumbled through the door, sick as a dog. All the other patrons seemed like they wanted to help, but nobody could pay for an antidote for the stranger's child. Meanwhile, the ingredients were just lying around in the kitchen. Every single one of these people could have saved the child, but only I knew how. It felt like a crime. Recipe for one bottle of antidote. Extracts needed. Salts of mugwort. Suspension of bullywug trumpet. There's a bunch of bullywug trumpet in there. Mm. Method. Slowly trinkle salts into suspension. Stir clockwise until the concoction consistency turns almost chewable. It might turn slightly green, but this is purely aesthetic and has no effect on the antidote itself. I mean, in Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, the antidote potions were always green. And remember, when in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Thrice the same ingredient forms an extract. Excellent. So curious as to why it's orange, but maybe that's a hint that... We it's a recipe. Can I, can I just take She's it? A, child. a devil child. One who tried to steal from us. Yet she failed. That's what matters. Huh. Take it one step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Cool. Oh, peerless focus. What does that do? Spellcaster cannot maintain the spells about his use. Oh, does it let you uh, pass uh, concentration checks? Potion of mind reading, greater healing, antidote. Is this mugwort plus any suspension antidote potion? I think it's quest related. You skipped in that quest. That's why it's orange. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Well, we'll just carry it with us anyway. Maybe it'll come in useful later on. So I think we're done inside here for now. Take the Mind Flayer Jar, good to have a companion like you. So, my, all right there, settle down, Tusky. My feeling at this point is that we're kind of done. Oh, we're finding Arabella's parents. We're kind of done in the Druid Grove. Although we haven't actually uh, canceled the ritual, but my hope is we can find Halson and he can like get everything settled down. That's my thinking. So Locke and Kamira. You ever scare me like that again and I'll feed you Mr. Root? Oh, Mom, hold on. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, we didn't talk to the rats. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what we'll happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. <laughs> Not anymore. Could have ended badly. Keep her in line. Yeah. No more light-fingered antics, right, Arabella? Yeah. I mean... Thank you. I mean... For helping me. Oh, hey, reward! Mirrors lock it. Gail can eat it. We got this great reward from these parents who were like, just gave us their last valuable as thanks for saving their child. And Gail might just end up eating this. That's what Mole says. We don't really need the ability to cast the dancing lights. Hang on, yeah, we'll talk to the mice or the rats. Oh, chat with the kid now. So, Jared, do you just like, do you just keep a, a list open of spoilers and things like that? Very well. Ugh. I'm never going to hear the end of this. If I'd got that stupid idol, I'd be a hero. Hmm. You were caught. You could have been killed. What kind of hero do you expect to be? A heroic thief. Mom? Dad? Mole? Mole? 
They all would this have is going to be an end to like the, the children's thing. Mo said we had to do something. Uh-huh. Because the old folks weren't doing anything. Uh-huh. They were talking when the druids were getting ready to throw us out. Why can't we just stay in until it's safe? I'm assuming the parents don't have anything. Because of you, I got my little girl back. That's not something I'll forget. Are you standing in the rain? Like, your head's wet. The road to Baldur's Gate looks a little less daunting now that we're all back together. Oh, we'll go back in there. We did forget to talk to the rats. And maybe I missed another room. Sweating with fear. Yeah. Oh, there's another room over there. Okay, where? Oh, there we go. Hello, Pinta. You see a sharp intelligence behind its eyes. Is it a familiar or another druid enjoying their wild shape? Hold it on. The rat watches your movements but does not speak. Uh, we already talked to Pinta. Ren. The rat glares at you. Okay, so there's nothing there. Okay. Is this Kaga's room? No, that's where Nettie is. Oh, is this is this where we hadn't been? Oh, this is where we hadn't been. Okay. Ooh, let's do some more reading. Although this is the one I'm not allowed to read, and there's a witness here. This is fine. Interwoven prayers and incantations snake across one side of the page. Written on the other, instructions for completing the Rite of Thorns. When the prayer is complete, thorns and bramble rise from the earth, protecting from harm all who chanted it. Ah, investigate Kaga. Yeah, Rite of Thorns dangerous magic. Why is Kaga so determined to do this? We should investigate. Check her chest. You got nothing else to say, Silver? <laughs> All right. Mark Rill. Uh, I talked to you already. By Sylvanus, another outsider. Should you? Yeah. On the subject of Gond and progress. Oh, Gond is the god of inventions. If I remember correctly. Benji, enough is enough. I'm sick and tired of hearing about your precious emerald enclave. They claim to be allies of the people of Faerun, that they fight to balance civilization and nature in chaotic world. But this is lies. They are enemies of progress, of intellect. They are kind of um, eco-terrorists, if I recall correctly, the emerald enclave. Uh, Who would be happiest in the world if reverted to a time of outdoor privies and knuckle-dragging protofolk? Please visit me at the High House of Wonders in Baldur's Gate. The things I've learned during my apprenticeship are simply, well, wondrous. There's the water pumps, no more backbreaking work for a simple bucket of water. A steam-powered oxen that can drive your wagon for days on end. Even this letter, it was transcribed and printed by our newest mechanized printing press. I had a little fun and printed several copies just for the sake of it. Please, brother, I cannot bear the thought of air. Um, cannot bear the thought of coming home to find you picking berries out of a tree and arguing with mother and dad about whether or not their crops impede on Fox territory. Right back soon, all right? And don't forget, dad's birthday is next month. Love, Abigail. It'd be fun if I was in here with my character named Abigail, which is what my, uh, my paladin is called. So, that guy patrols back and forth. There's Kaga's chest over here. Wait, where is it? Interesting. Locked and behind things. Now, we might be able to jump through there. We might be able to do mage handy things. Where's the wolf? Okay, it's patrolled away as well. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. We could use O for the tactical view. That could be very helpful in this situation. Uh, I wonder if I can sneak through in cat form, although would I want to? Um, we could consider an invisibility spell to make sure Astarian doesn't get caught. All these things are quite interesting. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the party over here. Don't Take a stair in here. Um, oops. I can drag to like link them. There we go. Let's get going. You guys go over there. Careful. Stair, oh, just uh, just chill over here. We're gonna have to wait for this person patrolling back and forth. Looks like you could get it by climbing a little ways to the right of the bookcase where you see cards. 
go. Oh, thank you. Okay. Let's prowl. Wait. It's probably the wolf coming back, but that's fine. I just gotta wait for Marco to leave. Marco! Polo! So yeah, we're not we're not we're not we're not thieves, but we do have to get to the bottom of Kaga stuff, and that's our for private chest, and we gotta figure out what's what. Seriously, butt face. Okay, you just put the book away. Are you are you leaving? There you go. We got enough pluses. Oh yeah, we can meow as the cat to distract. That's true. That's okay, we were just patient. We don't have to take the Malachite, but we're gonna anyway. All right. Let's start with the half-torn note. The marks crisscrossing the page don't look scribbled as much as slashed. Kaga, Swamp Docks, Tree, Meet me alone, Oladen. Hmm. The book spine is limber from overuse. The corner of one page is folded inwards. Balance is a myth. Where any clan treads, nature struggles. Unity is a fiction. Men of mere flesh seek only to tame beast and raise flora. We are the thunder and we are the rain. We shatter mankind and grow a new life in its place. Secrets of the Shadow Druids. Yeah, Faldorn's Canticle. Oh, Faldorn! From Baldur's Gate 1! Right? That's a character there. The Shadow Druids Doctrine. Uh huh. All right, let's regroup. All right. What now? Yes, what now indeed? I don't know Dressen Kaga mentioned meeting in the swamp. What's she up to? Very well. Now we might be able to talk to where's the reasonable druid? This one over here. I wish I could offer more assistance. For now, I must keep a close watch on Gorga. I hope to see both you and Halsen again soon. Okay. Well, the vibe I'm getting now is that we will go to Halsen, but yeah, if we can find a swamp and look for a tree, that could be an interesting extra progression. Thanks. We'll do anything special in Lock Bear form. Uh, when you get to level two as the druid, you can you pick a um, uh, you pick a circle, a druid circle, and I picked I don't know if it shows up in here. Anyway, I oh uh, circle the moon, circle the moon gives you bear form and. Uh, shape-shifting as a bonus action. Circle of the land? I think it's selected by default, and that's the I ca I'm better at casting spells druid. I picked the I'm better at shape-shifting druid. Best be on my way. Alright, so they're ritualizing. They're still on edge over here. Oh, hey, there's a path over this way. I don't think I've ever noticed that there's a path over here. Huh. Try again. Um, Alfira, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. Hmm. Stay silent and listen. Let's stay silent and listen a little bit. Change? No. Damn it! 
The singing voice can save those lyrics, you know that. Grow up becoming Battlefield soon enough, not time for me. Are you all right? No, I'm moments away from a grisly death. I mean, that's true, yeah. At the hands of this bloody song. Oh. I can't, nothing fits, you know? Let's see if I can help. I'd be performance as a charisma skill, and I do have charisma. And I'll probably get a chance to add my um, eagle splendor or whatever back to if there's a skill check. That's creative process for you. Agony and ecstasy. Mostly agony. I mean, yep. Why are you songwriting now? Hardly the best time. You better swap the loot for a weapon. You'll need one soon enough. I do like two, but I kind of want to try to help. But you know, like, we're just kind of butting in. You know, do they even want help? I want to try. I want to see what happens. Mm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra her? loot. So someone her? else's loot. First things for what's the song about? My teacher, Lihala. Ah. She loved dancing. Had two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile. You on have her great face. hair. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. Mm. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Ah! Encouragement just written. No, keep going. What would you say to your teacher if she were here right now? Yeah, no, this is actually, I think this is a good way to do the songwriting. That, that it's okay, that I'll be okay, and thank you for everything. All right, that's what your lyrics need to say. Moon, moon reminds me of I like this. Grace, all the love I can't repay. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. It's really quiet. I wish we had subtitles. Wait, is she actually a recruitable party member? Hey, all, they've all fallen in love. I mean, bards are our king spellcasters. We wouldn't need Gale anymore. Just saying. Oh. Oh, what's happening here? Or is this a cinematic outro? Mister. Yeah, a lot of people saying they missed her. I never noticed this little side path. Maybe didn't exist in EA. That's possible. Reminds me of uh, Leliana with Dragon Age. 
or whatever her name was. I think Liliana. Cards were added during early access. Makes sense they wouldn't have had her on when you play. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Don't worry, cry as much as you need. The song is beautiful, worthy of a few tears. No need to be sorry, though it still needs work. Well, would you look at this grove? So lovely, so, so grove-like. The song is beautiful, worthy of a few tears. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher, she was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. Oh, man. Sorry. I'm sure, teacher would be proud. Hardly any tale of woe. Toughen up. Well, you've come up with a fine tribute to her. I mean, there's that, but you know what? I'm sorry. It sounds terrible. It was awful. I couldn't look at a lute without hearing her screaming. I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to Lihala. Weeping Dawn. I have a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. Cool. Now let's talk to the squirrels and see if it's as good. It hurts. It hurts. Do they hate this Please music? Make it stop. I mean, a bit of a tonal shift here. What? What's wrong? Can't you hear it? Her, Her singing. singing. It's awful. awful. Terrible. Oh, uh, quite a racket. I could. You could spare your ears by leaving. Uh, sing along with the bard as loudly and off key as you can. Don't mock her. She's trying her best. I assume. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Chat. What do you think we should do? Should be a pop-up on screen to vote. How do we deal with these squirrels? Dun, 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 dun. Is it getting laggier and laggier to do the pop-up on screen? Hmm. I mean, the companion app is definitely still running. Wow. It's slow. Nothing appears. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe their app's broken. You know what? There are a lot of people playing the game. I wonder, because there's usually an intermediary server that's operating. I wonder if their server's having issues. Refresh, if you F5. I don't know, there's still no votes coming in. Oh, yeah, hitting F5 did pull it up for me. Although, no, it's not, it's unresponsive. I clicked and it's uh, it's not bringing it in. Although a lot of people in chat are saying two, so we'll do that. Hopefully, um, uh, what's her name? Alfira, the bard here. Hopefully, she doesn't find it offensive. Yeah, F five caused it to pop up, but the it's not coming in with the vote, so their server must be having some issues. No, <laughs> you're killing us. My head is melting. I'm leaving before the damage is permanent. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Moon, sun, oh, remind me of your grace. Faith came. Now you can vote? Oh, good. Yeah, in this version, they're having her hit some notes badly from time to time, you know, which is interesting. Nice little flavor. This book is a clear work in progress, though already extensive, chronicling various musical styles and notations from across Faerun. Amid the orderly symbols in blackened ink, one page stands out. It's a wash in color and meandering arcs. The script below reads, My Canid Song. By Ogma, I hear it and I see it and I know it and I feel it, but I can't write it, or can I? Someone's on mushrooms? A gilded chest? It's locked. Asterion, do your stuff. 
should be easy. My kids, they're fun guys. Boo! Randu, boo! Never a dull moment. Ah! A chapeau! A cap of curing. Soothing songs. When you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, they also re uh, regain one to six hit points. Okay. We need a bard in our party. Listen, are you, are you done making a song? We need to join the party. With haste. Seriously. And what's better to have at the party but a musician, right? Sorry to interrupt. Rough, but my song is getting there. She just looks so happy. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to come back later, huh? I'm gonna steal your orange. Hope you don't mind. She's not recruitable? Oh man! I really want her in the party! Ah! Oh. Are you finding the druid? Uh, excellent. Is someone singing? It's beautiful. Well, someone's singing over there, but is someone singing down here too? Are there sirens? There's sirens going, woo, woo, woo. Investigate the beach, investigate the music. Okay, but first, I'm gonna investigate this path here. Such a pretty song. Oh yeah, someone's getting pulled into the a polished dagger. A couple of ridge rib cages too, but how come Shadow Heart's always lagging behind? Please. Yeah, it's definitely sirens. I like how we shortcut down the ledge here. Such a pretty song. Don't go into the water, kiddo. Listen quietly. You, sh you shouldn't be standing out in the water. It's dangerous. I'm really worried about what... Listen carefully. To Although, we did we did just save. Hold on. Let's see what happens if we just sit here and listen to the siren song. A sweet melody plays above the waves. Save Beckham failed. Nature. Drowning out. A nature save. Interesting. No, we're going to close our eyes and listen to the music. Your chest fills with yearning. You Ooh. want to get closer. You need to get closer. Oh, it's a harpy! Just a few more steps and you can lose yourself in that sweet song. Harpies! Oh, and then we get a fight. Except Dolores is lured. Gale resisted the song. Shadowheart luring song condition. Must succeed in a saving throw every turn or be lured. Immune to the effect for two turns. All right. That's cool. Now, I'm assuming we could make the same decision. We're getting the same fight anyway. But if we don't make the dumb options, Dolores probably doesn't start off being delured. Good, good job, chat. Good job. <laughs> oh, that's most of the demon act. I got, I got to the same place actually. We could try as is, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quick save, or quick load, and we'll do it again while picking the making the dialogue choices we'd actually want to do. Although if that doesn't lead to a fight, then I might load again, make the wrong choices, so we do get a fight, and then see what we can do. Do 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 do, do 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 do. We might do this fight and then wrap it up. Oh, I don't think I've picked up. Yeah, I gotta pick up the polished dagger still. Such a pretty song. There we go. Please. Let me burn my magic. 
Yes. Still breathing, despite everything. Such a pretty song. Yeah, let's let everyone join us properly. Oh! Oh, I guess I didn't interact with uh, the kid enough, but it still starts the fight then. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, annoyingly, not everyone's in position. Will stand in my way. Now I am. There's difficult wall uh, terrain. I don't have my combat spells going, which could be something if we do reload again. I might make a little bit of a swap here. Although I do have my moonbeam. I'm wondering if I should use it on someone who's a little further away. That'll be harder to melee. Okay, and then we're gonna start moving forward. Don't waste a step. Now. There you go, you got a little bit more. Okay. Um and yeah, we may as well cast our shillelagh. And that'll be that. Uh yeah, that's not concentration. Let's okay. turn someone inside out. Let's turn someone inside out. Ah, uh, indeed. Oh, there's another one there too. Jeez. I wonder. We can reach. I hate that it doesn't give you the movement here, but 20.7 meters. Asterion has a movement rate of 12 right now because nine base plus three because of the long strider. So if he does a dash, he can reach this. So dash is a bonus action. They haven't acted yet. I don't know if we get the, um, I don't know if we get the sneak attack in this case. No, I think that's an assassin thing. So there's not gonna be any sneak attack. So we may as well do piercing strike. Actually, I'm assuming p the piercing strike still gives us a sneak attack bonus if it were to apply. Um, most of my characters do have a ranged thing. Oh, wait, that? Oh, you're going up this way. I expect them to climb that little cliff, but. Even though it was marking his path as there, when I clicked, he didn't take the path that was highlighted. Is it? I mean, even now it's saying, oh, I'll go this way. No, he's, he's not lured. Well, that's... To me, that's just kind of a glitch. See, so he's got a crossbow, but he's also got this. Uh, there you're still being moonbeam. In theory, you'll keep taking damage or we can move it. Yes, I know water has half movement speed. That's not the question here. When I was standing here and I was doing this, it was drawing at a path that was involving climbing up these stones and going this way. And then when I clicked, he decided to walk in a completely different direction to get there. So they're using waiting. They're using a, they're, they've got a slightly different function call um, that they're calling the pathfinding function for the preview versus the walking. Um, and I'm thinking that maybe the walking click didn't factor in the um, the difficult terrain cost, whereas the preview does. Which, first of all, both of them should calculate the, the walking, the, 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 the terrain difficulty as part of the waiting. But also, they should definitely use the exact same series of function calls to get it going there. There's something that happened. Oh wait, did it actually not use my cunning action? Maybe, maybe that's what's. Oh, maybe I hadn't actually hit that. Never mind. You can get here, son of a bitch. So, time to move. We could have reached, presumably either way, if I had actually used the cunning action. The problem is I hadn't actually done that. No, I did. This is my second bonus action. I used cunning action one time. It did lock in and then walk the wrong way. But then I forgot that when I I we took the thief specialization, so I get two bonus actions per turn. So I could have dashed a second time and still gotten here. It doesn't solve the, the pathfinding glitch, but it turns out I could have done a melee here regardless. So that's a little unfortunate, but hardly the end of the world. 
because we still, you know, we still were able to do something with the shooting. Okay, that's maybe not great for Asterion. Although he can free disengage. Oh, this one's trying to fly away and we got an attack for opportunity. Okay, well that works. Yeah, resist the song, that's good. What's the best play here? Yeah, so we're out of uh, we're out of spell slots, which yeah I could have taken a rest, um, but that's okay. We still have our hand trips. Now what I'm think tempted to do with Shadowheart is to move her up here so that next turn she might be able to provide some flanking bonuses with the harpy. Well, it's not flanking, but you know whatever. And she can still shoot because she can use her firebolt or she can use her sacred flame. Whichever one turns out to be slightly easier. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll go this way. Hopefully she actually does path in this direction. On my way. Okay. I'm wondering if maybe, because she was here, it might not have been a pathfinding wait, but I'm thinking um, she might have been in Asterion's way, but the preview didn't properly demonstrate that. So 50. One's a save, one's AC, but it's sort of both affected by decks, so there's sort of some same, same going on. Um, I guess, oh, low ground over here. This one's already damaged, but... Oh, 60, we do have the high ground bonus on this one. So let's do that. And we miss anyway. All right, good stuff. I wonder if you shove something that's got flying, but as is, that's it for her. There's nothing really good for her to do as a bonus action. She's done. Okie dokie. Jeez! With the crit! Come on! Oh, Gale's been lured. He would be. He would be. Yeah, get out of here, kid. So... I want to go and attack this one because I should get the sneak attack bonus. We will be required to move away from this one, therefore um, getting um, an attack of opportunity. But I can use the disengage here to prevent that. So I think that's going to be the plan. Excellent. There you go. Oh, good damn 10 and then the sneak attack for 12. Overkill, but or just the right amount of kill. One or the other. So I'm going to come over here. I don't think this is going to do anything, but I'm kind of curious. Uh, oh, no, hold on. I forgot I could flourish as a bonus action. Let's use that. There you go. Off balance. I was going to do a shove, but the flourish is going to be better here. I'm going to stay here. If it tries to fly away, we'll get a tax of opportunity. Despite everything. I think we move up. I think we verify and then go and hit. We've got the shillelagh, but like bear mode, right? Especially, we don't have any spell slots available either. Oh, right, so I can move the moonbeam. Oh, it takes an action to do that. I think that's probably still what we want to do, though. I'm kind of worried if I move it to here, it's just going to force this one to move again. Is this the only one singing? Hold on. This is the singing one. Okay. Didn't stop from being damaged. Maybe it made a concentration. Yeah, concentrating luring song. I wonder if I can break it with a shove. These boots have seen everything. These boots are made for walking. Yeah, failed. Maybe I should have healed the Shadow Heart. Philip, well, I see you now for what you are. Oh, cool. All right. Resisted the song. Um. Oh, they're off balance. We get advantage. Although we could just try to shoot here, but 
I don't know, this is pretty good opportunity, it feels like. Well, we'll have True Strike next time. I'm going to drink a potion of healing here. Oh, it died! Yay! Oh, it's a wonderful night for a moonbeam. Let's not miss with magic missiles of awesomeness. That would have been a good way to uh, break uh, concentration as well. Um, you know what? I will just get out of the water here. Open up some movement for next round, even though it moves me closer to here, but it's not like they can't reach anyway. You know what? You drink a potion of healing as well. They're pretty easy to come by, and we can craft some. Run away, kid! Yeah, that's a good point. The respec on the Shadowheart keep her at the same class, but we could change her stats. I didn't realize we could change the stats with the respec too. You really can do anything. All right, yeah. So we're gonna have advantage and and um, obviously we're gonna have like full uh, sneak attack bonuses and all that jazz. There we go. Uh, and the last one is just this one here, yeah. Flourish. We'll use some more consumables here. No. What we get for not uh, coming in with our uh, not coming in rested. You know, if we move here. Life before me. Oh, can I move the moonbeam to there? What's the radius on that? Yeah, right to there. Hold on. I'll say, as long as I don't hit a staring as well, but I think he might be okay. Oh, I forgot that's my action. Because I was going to say, what I could do is, um... Oh, am I out of uh, wild shape charges? I think I am. Does it say I could badger and then do a, a dig to there, but okay. Critical miss. I like to see that. Got to press on. I've got the high ground. It's over now. The witching hour. One, two, three. Okay. Hey, kiddo. Oh my god! The kid just walked into the moonbeam. How do I dismiss this? I did save. You didn't see me quick save? I did it before the kid moved into the moonbeam. Hold on. I'm gonna reload this and see if I can move the moonbeam before the kid just randomly runs into there. To be quick. Kid's super stupid. Yeah, I did save. Oh! Oh my god, I can't... This this, this turn-based mode had a cooldown, so I couldn't... I was spamming shift space, but I couldn't do it because it had a cooldown. Oh, is that where the kid's running to? Are you aggroed or not? I don't know. Let me move the moonbeam up here. These boots have seen everything. Can I still talk to you, kiddo? I need a quick word. Okay, gone? you're fine. Hmm. They're gone. You all right? Go back to your parents. There's worse than wilds in the wilds and harpies. That's true. Stop stumbling and be back. Um, no, no. Are you all right? No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. Take a breath, deep and slow. You're safe now. I bet you the kids can't be killed. I bet you they, they can't go lower than one HP or something. 
Yeah, take a breath. Th that's what the voice said. I almost got to the nest, but the singing. I need to get back. Mole will be so mad. There's that mole again. Wait, um, you should meet Mole. Yes. I'm grateful you helped me. I should. Find a boy called Donny. Uh huh. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, another path into the secret kid spot. Um, hey, Gail. Are you embarrassed? That reminds me of myself when I was a nipper. Always getting it. He's got a lot of kid children, like, stories from his childhood. Met a lot of harpies, did you? And worse. One time, my parents denied me a kitten, so I summoned myself a tressim. Ugh, dear old Tara. Beautiful creature. Benefits of a wizard's education, you see. Of course, I don't know what a Tresson is. Considerable talent didn't hurt either. I'm well, sure. That depends on who you ask, I suppose. I may have summoned things rather more exotic than a winged cat. Oh, cats. Such as? There was that magma method once. Nice fellow, we kept in touch. Of course, in walked the housekeeper, screaming, yelling, panic, and before you know it, fire everywhere. Anyway, I'm glad we got that boy out of his predicament. Poor lad would have been harpy feed if it wasn't for you. All right. I mean, I agree. That's true. Okay, let's cross over here. I don't see anything up here, but... Oh, there it is. A little bit of a loot. Pile of bones. A bottle. Okay. I'm sorry. And the, the, the rope cages aren't there. They're these are the rude cages here. There's just a weird token showing for them. Alright. Uh So I loaded the knife from this. Oh, there's still lootable piles of bones. Maybe I should go back up there. I didn't notice there were some lootable piles of bones over there. This presumably is the nest. That one wasn't very interesting. Um, hold on. If I can short rest, yeah, let's do that. That'll give me my uh, wild shape charges back too. There you go. Yeah, number two. Kind of wish the spell slots were numbered like the wild shape charges. Oh, no. Literally just pile of bones. A regular dagger. I mean the rib cage. at the high ground. Oh, there's the nest. Okay, hold on a sec. Okay. Here's some little birdie sounds. So, jump spells, feather falls, some combination thereof. You pass the pain? Doesn't one saying jump, jump? Um, I wonder if, uh, is my cat form particularly good at jumping? You have my attention. Yeah, you have no spell slots. Although, oh, uh, if we do have Featherfall, uh, we don't. I was going to say, Featherfall is castable as a ritual. Let's move. Yeah, too bad no birds form. Um... Does the spider spider climb? All right, I don't know how these uh, shapes are implemented, so I'm doing a save here. We're going to do some some testing. And the spider offer me some better mobility options. I expect the answer is no. And indeed, it seems to be no. Well, that's a bit disappointing. The 
the badge report might open up some interesting things. And go around. Maybe there's an easier way to get to places. Yeah, the badge report might work. Go around. I mean, there's not. There's there. Although it says I can't get there right now, but I'm betting. There we go. I can get here. That's probably the best way to approach it. We're still going to have to do some jumps, but not from up here. Party should be following. Yeah, there they come. Okay. They should all be running. I can hear some little tweet tweet sounds. Oh, a little wooden chest. Got 30 XP, what, from finding this? It's just exploration XP. I can do this in pieces. Oh my god, the party follows with jumping. Oh, that's interesting. But I can't do this. However... I do have enhanced sleep available as a ritual. Let's see what those harpies were hoarding. How are you guys jumping? You don't have enhanced sleep. Ring of color spray. Oh, onyx, a supply pack, and a bone. No birdies. Oh, there's there's a note. I'm sorry. What? Miriam, I'm sorry. It's been so long since I've written. A lot has happened. First, some good news. Maggie Two Fingers won't be bothering you anymore. I paid her back in full. I'm sorry. She should never have got your name in the first place. Now for the bad news. My love, I'm not coming home. Not for a while at least. The money came from a mercenary group, probably asked I don't give their name, and I've agreed to a couple of jobs in Icewind Dale in return. They paid me up front because, God, it's so strange to write it. Because they needed a warlock. They needed me. I took the deal the Cambion offered. I'm not going to say I had no choice, because that would be a lie, but I don't regret it. I'm a new man. I feel strong for the first time in my life, aside from being awoken in the middle of the night by the smell of sulfur. He likes to drop by to see how everything is going. I have no complaints. If you do, if you don't reply to this letter, I understand. And if you don't want to come back at all, well, I understand that too. I love you, Miriam, and I want to be happy, even if it's not with me, Edmund. Oh, there's a journal in here too. Well, that's hard to spot. Thank you, Alt button. Dot dot dot. We followed Mushrib's instructions so far, but something feels odd. We've encountered no creatures along the way, only alien noises from all directions. Sleep evades us, and the muck on my boots has hardened into a permanent feature. Hopefully, we find dot dot dot. This, sorry, this double space here is driving me crazy. Uh, lost more hair this morning. I knew there were side effects to coming back, but I didn't expect it to be so dot dot dot. Eric, I hear him laughing. The lamentations of Omwan's droning like a chorus. What is the purpose of this hellhole? He speaks through the walls, the ceiling, the floor. Is he the tomb? Is he? Dot, dot, dot. On the last legible page is a crudely drawn charcoal outline of a bearded devil's faith, its mouth agape in silent scream. Did someone find the tomb of horrors? Is this a Serac from the tomb of horrors? Fascinating. All right, nest looted. Nothing else altable. I dare say we are done here. I'm just to say I can jump there, but I'm gonna take falling damage. I, in fact, I might still take some damage. Wee! Oh, I didn't. I know you can definitely take falling damage from jumping down. Just what I need. Whoops! No, 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 no! Don't. Go ahead. I'm listening. No, it's Tomb of Cuddly and Friendly Things. I played the, the Tomb of Horrors in, with uh, classic AD&D rules as, as well. 
the dungeon master had to use um like a spinning disc thing the calculator to hit chances it wouldn't tell us your target numbers you just rolled you said your class and your level and you rolled so there's another little overlook oh jumpy jumpy hang on Can you follow? <laughs> I wonder if they can't copy it. That might be worth a look. Ah, diggy diggy hole! When you mouse around in jump mode, it previously has much damage and whether you're knock prone. Oh, that's quite handy. Gold, silver necklace, potion of healing. Okay. That might be it. I mean, there's a waterfall. There's always something behind a waterfall, right? I actually don't see an opening this time. Uh, no, path. Path is interrupted. No, it's literally un unwalkable. Waterfall sus. Nice little bonus area. I mean, it's not much, but it's a little something. Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarian? Ooh. A sweetheart, perhaps? Ooh. Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. Feast! And jump to the third pillar? I mean, I guess I could try. Yeah, waterfall always have to have secrets. Crates always have to have loot. Oh, I don't think I have my long jump anymore. Hold on. No. No, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's that there's no there's nothing to do there. Which might not be accurate, but I think it might be. No, jumping down doesn't seem to be pathable. I might be wrong. Maybe there's still something there, but it 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 seemed like it was all not enough space and path interrupted. Ah, my grizzled friend. What can you tell me about this place? Not yours. It's my job too. The druids don't care about us. No one does. We have to look care. after ourselves. That's what Mole says. Uh, Alright, let's see about this Mole situation. Where's Dommy? There's Donny. Need to make a character max out jumping? So, for those of you who know about Demonac and their YouTube channel, Tales from my D&D campaign, which hopefully Demonac will drop a link here. Um, so Demonac is the dungeon master for our D&D campaign that spanned, like, like started. When, when did that start? It's so like 12 years ago. Um, so there's the main tales from the D&D campaign. And now a second story has started on his channel, Sea of Secrets. What he does is he animates our D&D adventures that we've played. In the second tale, I play a character called Uomisho. And I literally... Uh, one of the big things with that character design was to make someone who had maxed out jump distance. <laughs> that was one of my goals with this character's design, to stack stupid amounts of stuff to give him a huge jump, because I thought it would be incredibly entertaining. And it, it really was. I just kept looking for opportunities to like jump up things, jump across things. So, okay, this is the kid who disappeared before and we failed a check to find him previously. But yeah, Donnie isn't it. I want to see the dragon's lair. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Hey, thanks for showing me the door. He doesn't actually talk much, but... <laughs> Hello? <clears throat> yes, sword fighting. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. I'm very ugly. No, I, I think I, I get what they're going. I also sometimes have trouble keeping eye contact. Concealed hatch. 
Yeah, the Tabaxi Speedrunner. Yeah, <laughs> 28,000 kilometers an hour. There's some pretty crazy things you could do in uh, older D&D editions, which is why we love them. Oaks, I think now's the time. I've been streaming a little over four hours. I think I am donezo for today. We're going to leave it here. I just wanted to make sure I hadn't forgotten to check out the Tieflings hideout, the kids hideout over here. So we're going to put a cut in here, do this area, see what leads out of that. I mean, at some point, we will leave the, the Druid's Grove because we've got to go and look for for Haslin, or whatever his name is, the uh, the, the head Druid. Um, and we got some goblins to deal with, if nothing else. Oh, you are streaming? Uh, Rhino and a Kiss for Luck? Oh, that's great. Perfect. Hold on. We are going to do a raid. Are they playing more Baldur's Gate? That's excellent. Actually, I sort of whined to Ava. Like, I really want to see you play. When are we going to do that? I know it's late over there in the Scottish lands. It's 10 p.m. But uh, is that going to be the case? Stream's not live yet. Si, senor. Excellent. I'll tell you what. Um, I'm going to drop a link to a Kiss for Lux channel. And uh, I don't know if the raid commands work so someone's not live. Okay, give you a sec. All right, cool. We'll do that. Uh, I'm going to go get myself some FUD. Um, and I'm going to sit back and be watching you guys play some BG3. I mean, is it going to be two hours of character creation? It might be. Sometimes that's the best way it is. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yes. So tomorrow, me. Tomorrow there's no live stream. Um, I am going to be away. Uh, it is a, a long weekend here. Uh, and um, in particular on Manitoulin Island, which is uh, a lovely place I like to go. This is High Eater Weekend. Uh, and despite my toe difficulties, I am going to be heading out there, spending time at my parents' house and uh, relaxing in the shade because with these antibiotics I'm in, uh, apparently I'm super susceptible to UV rays and I cannot be in the sun. So I'm gonna be lounging in the shade, reading some books, but I'm gonna be away this weekend. I will be back Monday, Monday stream will happen. I strongly suspect Monday stream will be more Baldur's Gate. I know it's been RimWorld, but I think we're probably gonna stay on the Baldur's Gate thing. Hey, you guys are gonna get lots of chance to get way ahead in the story so you won't have to worry about any spoilers from me because I'm only going to be here. So um, there we go. The stream is now live. Perfect. We're going to raise a kiss for Lux channel. I'm going to be hanging out there in chat. And I'll see you on Monday for Baldur's Gate 3. Bye, everyone.